Hentai. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome in. Today is an exciting day. We have Fatal Frame 5 to play. And I'm super excited. I, I really want to see where the series is going and how it evolved after 4. I did look at. Whatever you say. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Boomer, boomer. Boomer. Uh, yeah, so I am excited to jump into it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, buddy Mina and ooh, Chris and Melon Deity and of course, baby. I send love to you, baby. Uh, let me see where it is sticker. Bam, bam, bam. Of course, love to you all. I'm glad you can join me today. And yeah, like I was saying, uh, kind of curious to see what they did with uh, the series, considering I loved four so much. So very interested. I love Fatal Frame, so excited for 5 on PC, so, uh, supposed to come out October 27th. Yeah, I am i can't wait for the PC port, and hell, I might play it again if I like the game. Uh, have we played 5 before? Uh, have you played it, Mina? Uh, 28th, 27th is my birthday. Oh, that's an excellent birthday gift then, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, let me see. Maybe we should add some new stickers for the... Well, I want to add some for... Uh, I just need more sticker slots, goddammit. <laughs> ara, ara. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll uh, boot it up, jump in, and see how we go. Uh, let me see, where is... Okay, tentacles. Okay, chill out. Chill out, tentacles. And... Whoosh. And today I am Tattoo Mama. I thought it was only fitting. And also, I have legs now. Oh my gosh, legs. <laughs> Slowly evolving. Okay. This looks good. Uh, can I post a link? You certainly can. Um, depending on what the link is. Don't get me banned. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, apparently you can't post a link. My bad. Um, it's for Fatal Frame 5. You go post it in the Discord and link share and I'll, I'll go post it if you want. We can do that. Uh, this game seems kind of on the low side in terms of volume, so we'll pump it up a little bit. It's strange. Generally they're very loud, but this emulator seems quite low. So we're using a new emulator for this because it's uh, Wii U. We're using Simu. And it was a hell of a, hell of a thing trying to get it all ready, but it seems to be working fine now, so that's good. Let me see if I can make this window a little bit bigger. Moo. It moves. Uh, in chit chat. Hey, haunted PS One, cool, cool. I love that company. I love that collective of people, if you like. And here is the. The trailer that Mina posted. Although, I don't think I want to watch an overview trailer. Uh, I kind of want to let the game wash over me. Why is the window so small? Hang on. That's better. I like that much more. Alright, cool, cool. And let's get some rat jams. Rat jam! I'm so excited that we have rat jams now. <laughs> it's so dumb how much I like the, B the BTDB emotes, and it took so long to figure out, too. I had to, like, talk to fucking stream elements and get it all working, because I was using the Streamlab emote wall. Then I had to redo the chats. Anyway, it was a long, long story short. It took a while. But we got it now. Uh, let me see. Controller is connected. Popcat 2. Yeah, Popcat. Love me some Popcat. Uh, Alright, hopefully I loaded the right version. Because it shouldn't say load game there, I don't think. Starting a new game will delete all previous save data. 
Oh, uh, hmm. Yes, I guess. Let me know if it's, not, if it's not loud enough and I'll pump it up. I'll pump up the gain in OBS. Lurking in the deep. It moves. Legs pog. Yeah. There's still some glitches in it, so I need to work the, those uh, little kinks out, but, you know, good kinks. Takes a little while. Spirited away, in the vicinity of Mount Hikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old, half-flooded building. Now, from what I understand, Miyu is the daughter of Miku from Fatal Frame 1. Apparently, Miku had aged out of the series, and so they gave it to her daughter. That's kind of curious. I wonder how much we'll find out about the lore of that. Yes, this is it, but it's coming in now we have a release date. In addition to PC, it's coming to Switch as well as PlayStation and Xbox. I'm just really excited about PC because that means ports and mods and all that. Uh, yeah, mostly just mods. But you'll be excited to know that I... I, uh, <laughs> I may have patched it so that we get the Japanese version instead of the European version. Mods! Hey Quinn, hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. Sending you big hugs and lots of cool vibes. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling this evening slash morning? Isn't this game pretty? It's so pretty. I did see some of the outfits for the uh, re-release and they look pretty cool. Look at that water. Drench me, mama. So water is the big theme in five. <clears throat> we'll see how they use it. I need to close my blinds a little bit. It's a bright day. It's too bright. Uh, since you asked earlier, yes, I played this game. Someone from Community did borrow me his Wii U with the game. Oh, that's super cool. Too bright. Especially for a game like this, I want to be spooked. Give me them spooks. Oh. As you can see. Patched version. <laughs> I had to. Okay, I have to get out of here. Use R to look around. Uh, okay. Me, you looking fine. Oh. Get off me. Oh, get off. Is it loud enough? Let me pump it a little. Uh, okay. Move Ellen in the direction you want to walk. Whoa, she is coming for me. Yeah, this is the Japanese outfit they gave her. Trust the Fatal Frame developers. That is a lot of butt cleavage. Uh, where are we going? R to search for an exit. Okay. So they're definitely pushing the tutorial stuff here. I have to find a way out of here. I like those ghost things that were just following me. They kind of remind me of the Tattoo Mama from uh, Fatal Frame 3. Let's just have a look at how pretty this game looks. so interesting to watch a series develop like this, you know, because I never really experienced any of them. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out. Can I say ass? It looks like you just did. <laughs> oh, look at this, this kind of hair. I have to get out. Hold ZL to run. 
It's cold. Lucky we have the scarf. Exactly. All you need is a scarf. Those door handles are painted on for some reason. They may have stuck all the polygons available on the Wii U into the character model. So yeah, you can see there's some weird shader issues with her hair. That's an emulation thing. And I don't know if we can fix that. ZL to point the camera straight ahead. Okay. I can say uh, but, but ass. Because I wrote, you see half her ass and it wasn't sent because of moderation. Yeah, the moderation stuff is super fucking random. Um, but it's better to keep it there than not, right? Just in case. <laughs> look how cool they look. I love the hair bondage thing. That's super cool. Down for some hair bondage. I mean, the design in these games is always super rad, right? Oh, tentacles? Hentai? They come in. You coming for me? You're not tentacles. Uh, okay. Move L to turn back. I don't know what the quick turn is. What's the L to run? So the movement is actually a lot more fluid than it was in the Wii version. Probably for obvious reasons, they could actually map it to an analog stick in the, the Wii U gamepad. I suppose they did that for the Wii as well, though. I don't know why they would have done it then. Or why it feels better. This one was not, did not have the involvement of Suda though. So I'm a little worried. Hmm. Oh, that's some fucking ring shit. <laughs> Look how sick that looks. Ugh. I love this series. Whoa. See? Hair bondage. I'm gonna trust the developers of this series to make it as suggestive as possible. How cool does that look? That's some really cool shader use. So I'm wondering if that's like the main antagonist of the series of this uh this fatal frame. Hair bondage lady. Miyu Hinasaki has this oh okay, well she's gone. No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. As you do. That mountain is where the events of this story take place. We follow the fates of three people. This Yuri, Ren, and Miyu. Doesn't this feel like it was designed for people who haven't played a Fatal Frame game before? It is as terrifying... A terrifying tale of the supernatural. Sorry, I'm still drinking coffee here. <laughs> Like, a lot more emphasis on how to play so far. A vanishing trace is what it says behind me there. Among the residents of the village at the foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables a user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psycho psychometry practiced elsewhere. 
Yuri Kozukara accompanies Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses a shadow reading ability, to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. Sensing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assessment. I wonder if the reading is as intense as the other uh, fatal frame games. Ugh. Note, one of 9,762. Yeah, I always wonder when I start a new one of these. I might boost the gain even more because it seems quite low. Uh, low. 25? I am alone. How's that? In the end, I am alone. Hey, Skull baby, how you doing? Maybe if I put this one down there, like that, so it doesn't peak. I will end it all. Yeah, it's slow, but I can't get it louder. It's weird. What we're looking for should be in here. This is an excellent <laughs> chance for you to take the lead. What the fuck? Here, take this. Ah. This is a camera obscura. It will let you see the unseen. I love that hairstyle. That will help you find what we're here for. The hair looks really good in this game. This is your opportunity. Your first case. I wonder if there's any way to boost the volume in... Because it's on max. I'm sure you'll do well. Let's start with a little practice. It works exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Alright, this, this is the one part that is quite difficult to emulate. What's the rest wrong? of the game is fine. Nothing's wrong, like I'm just checking out camera. my cool as fuck outfit. Look just at this look shit. The and press the shutter button. Oh, do you find that? Hell, maybe it's in the... Maybe the volume settings would actually help me if I could get to them. I don't know how What's to get wrong? to them. It's just like a normal camera. Alright, so I have to like actually use my mouse here for this bit. Um, from what I understand. So I have to hold this and then up. Or down. This or What's down. Wrong? There we go. It's just like a normal camera. That's the only just time you have to do that. And press the shutter button. But you can definitely see there's some shaders missing on the, the emulation. Photographs the netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. What is that noise? That world that we see through the lens is not unlike the other. Make sure not to draw too much interest. From oh, the that's a noise. Okay. Yusaka Kurosawa. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld. What the hell was that? She's really cute. A little beauty mark. I like it. Okay, so we have some new systems in place here. Now we have multiple areas of the body we need to photograph. Face and boobs. Gotcha. Can I move back even more? Uh, use the gamepad or move R to find the third. All oh, right. Okay, so this is also only in the tutorial. You have to actually like move this around. There we go. That should work. Bam. Let's fix this one. Hold ZL to lock onto targets with a square. And press CR to take a photo. Things around here seem to have changed. It wasn't exa All right, we're good. Take this. <laughs> I thought it was mine. Yeah, no, I had to put the mouse on so I could do that one bit. Um, but from now on, the mouse should be gone. You're right though, the the audio is like That's decent okay. level, but be sure to stay in the ambience, room. but then the voices yeah. are super low. Inside. It's 
got to be a way for me to fix that. Hang on. Um... I have no idea. Hopefully it's in the menu. I wish I could get to the menu. How do I get to the menu? <laughs> Maybe if I use my mouse. Hmm. No menu, eh? Hey, girl. But see, I'm not even sure if her hair is meant to be blonde there. I think it is just an emulation issue. Oh, we had some jiggle physics. I just happened to notice it. I wasn't looking for it, I promise. Don't worry. I'm right here with you. Yeah, okay. super pretty. Come on. I never had a Wii U, so I never really played any uh, Wii U games. Again, Nintendo just doesn't really have horror games that often. Controls pretty well. Of course, they've changed everything once again. Uh, am I meant to take a photo of this stuff? Okay, so that's kind of annoying. So, what you have to do is press square and then actually press select to bring up the camera because you're emulating pulling up the gamepad. So it's a double press. Check. Boards have been nailed to the windows. Okay. Hey girl. We got some... Not escort mission, but companions in this one maybe. It's kind of cool. We came from there. So I did have a quick look at reviews and apparently it got mixed reviews compared to, well actually I didn't have a look at 4 and whether it got mixed reviews. Keep a scrap wood at the end of the hallway, hole in the wall, I can see the next room over. <laughs> Damn that buddy, I wish I would look like this. Even when I would lose weight, I, can get, I can't get my breasts back. Yeah, I'm sorry Mina. I mean there are things you can do, right, but I understand. But yeah, don't worry, I'm right there with you. I wish you looked like this as well. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about virtual fictional characters, right? They make them look perfect. Her little scoot doesn't seem as slow. That's cool. Oh, you mean her just her running animation? Yeah. Seems a little a little bit quicker. Auto mod doesn't like the boob word for breasts. Really? Girl. <laughs> It's strange because there's two moderation settings and one is set to to not block that kind of stuff, but I guess the other one just automatically does it. Hey dude, what's up? What are you doing? Why are you coming closer? What is happening? <laughs> Look how low poly he was compared to her. We're not going to discuss that. Okay. Let's go towards the light. They definitely uh, make the Fatal Frame characters look amazing, don't they? <laughs> I'm not into girls, as you know, but I can say that that looks damn good. Yeah. I mean, I am into girls, and I'm highly in agreement. Hold well on, ZR to find the trail. ZR. Ah. It's called a trace. A shadow of the past. The token is showing me the way. Token is showing me the way. These traces can lead you to the right path. Well, I also want to explore, Let's though. Let's follow that shadow. All right, dude, relax.
I'm gonna go upstairs. Come on, this way. Grr. Goddamn tutorials. Let me play the game. I swear there's a trace. The, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that, but like the accessory over the wrap she's got over her bottom, her bottoms. Really cute. But that's not a part of the bikini, right? That's like a, like a sarong or something. It's a really, really short one. <laughs> Also, she has a garter randomly, but no stockings. Just because it looks good. And <laughs> this outfit doesn't look vanilla. What are you talking about? I wouldn't... I wouldn't spend three hours looking up how to patch a Wii U game. And then struggle and fail. And then a week later try and spend another three hours doing it. Like, what do you think? You really think I would spend six hours trying to get bikinis in... In a in a switch in a Wii U game, I don't know what you I don't know what you're talking about. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twi'let Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for their beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. The text is kind of like not dark and it's harder to read. Four pages. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at the manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine, god damn it. The shrine road to the summit was cut off and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned. And Ichiru Manor was buried under a slew of rocks, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiru, Ichiru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Hikami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountain is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill-seekers interested in the occult. <laughs> Four already. Yeah, it's just begun. Uh, can I take a photo? Oh my gosh. It's going to be really hard to take photos quick enough for this game. Too many button prompts. <clears throat> Why are you like standing on me, girl? Back up. Give me room. I mean, I'm into you, but... I mean, yeah, I'm into the outfit too. You know what? Actually, you look really good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where are you going? So this outfit here is an unlocked outfit in the Japanese version, so it's not actually a mod- what the- It's not a mod or anything, it's just I replaced the... It goes of the past. I patched the European version. Because in the European version, they patched uh, these outfits out and put in a Princess Zelda and Metroid- uh, Metroid outfit, a Samus outfit. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. You'd think at the point where you're making Fatal Frame games for the spooks, and when you're localizing and people are like, hey, can we make this game less sexy? You'd think at that point you'd be like, are we making our games too sexy? Are we focusing too much on sex appeal in this spooky game? And yeah, I'm not going to tell you the age of the characters. <laughs> A Japanese game, just keep that in mind. Alright, let's go for a little crawl. Hey girl, what's cooking? I thought that said crotch. Alright, mine's in the gutter. Let's go. Door is locked. Try using the camera obscura. You said it needs a key. When you look around through the lens of the obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items that have a connection with. Yeah, I've definitely played a Fatal Frame game before, thank you. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me do this shit again? Very 
very annoying tutorial. Ugh. There we go. God damn it. Hold ZL to lock on to the square and then take a photo by pressing ZR. I'm wondering how this will work with the fights. So you sure this is playable? Oh, it's definitely playable. It's just as in the tutorial section, there's commands that aren't in the actual main game, from what I understand. I was reading forums about it, and they're like, yeah, it's just right in the tutorial. You have to do this dumb shit with the mouse, and after that, the game's fine. I'm wondering how this will work with the fight. Sorry, I think I read that, but I'm replying to it now. <laughs> I think it will be okay, honestly. Once you're in camera mode, it should be fine. The light coming out of the closet, and there's a door on top of a chest of drawers, and a cool wig. Might be where the key is. Okay. Find the place shown in the photograph. It's somewhere in the building. Ra ra ra. Hey, Britta. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Me playing some Fatal Frame Five. I'm probably have to. I probably have to go back, right? Oh, I see a ghost. Ghosty. Ghosty feet. And it's gone already. I guess we won't be getting all the ghosts. I mean, we might find that halfway through the game becomes unplayable for some reason, but from what I understand reading the reviews, it should be fine. Reviews meaning like people who emulate this. Key of red? The key on red keychain. Okay. <clears throat> this one is my favorite, really. What about it is it uh, makes it your favorite? Is it the outfits? Because I, I can understand that. I feel like this one is almost more hand holdy by the looks of it. Oh, incredibly so. I'm still in the tutorial. The other games kind of just dump you. But this game is like pushing it. At least they've got the key thing back. I like that. So they obviously learned from Suda. Camera obscure. Ugh, oh, wasn't quick enough. I'll get it. So I just have to remember it's square square than that. What is weird though is you know what maybe i can have maybe there's an option for that hang on i think there is uh separate ga so gamepad view i'm pretty sure there is a button to just keep your gamepad always up kind of thing uh I don't know. We'll figure it out. What if I click separate gamepad view? What does that do? Right. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe I will keep that open just over here somewhere. So I can actually pop out a screen, a second screen. Can I photograph this doll? Look how cool it looks. Hello. Does this have collectibles like the last one? I hope so. The doors are a little quicker than last time. That's good. <laughs> Gosh, the doors are so fucking slow in four. There is some jankiness in the way that like you turn and stuff. The camera seems to get stuck. I love the characters and it's HD. The outfits are cool. I love the eight shot combo on one of the cameras. It's very cool. The game looks amazing in 1080. Sorry, if I do leave the cursor, just let me know. Sometimes I forget. Try What's searching it? with the camera obscure. Oh, okay. Invisible to the naked eye. 
You can bring these items back to the world by photographing the place they were taken from with the correct angle and position. Hold ZL and tilt the gamepad, then press ZR to bring the item back to this world. Tilt till you can bring it back? Okay. How does that want me to tilt it? Is this a really common part of the game? Oh my gosh, what the fuck? I can't see where I am. What is happening? How about that? Is that going to work? I can just spin around it. <laughs> Is that a ghost? I thought there was. Never mind. I can't turn toward it. It's so fucking annoying. I have to like turn around. Like she won't face it. How are you meant to know when you got the angle right? Oh my god, what the heck? You're right, this part is... This tutorial, they weren't kidding. This tutorial fucking sucks. <laughs> um... I don't think I'd want to... I just don't really like Nintendo consoles. Oh, there we go. I just wish people would stop making games with stupid fucking gimmicks in them, personally. But, you know, that's just me. Just let me play the game with a controller. That is how games should be played. <laughs> or, like, with a VR suit or some shit. Bring me into the future. But none of these half measures make me spin my arm ar arms around while I'm playing a game. Uh, Freda, then you're also excited when it comes to for PC on October 28th. Yes, I have never played it before since I don't have a Wii U. This is what we came here for. <laughs> Did highlight my own name. We shouldn't stay here I'm still, I'm gonna still play it on Wii U because I bought a Wii U to play it. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Let's head back before it gets dark. Okay. Like, I understand why they do it. It's to improve in immersion, but you don't need it, you know? It's... If anything that gets in the way, if I have to think about my controller while I'm playing a video game, then you're breaking immersion, not the other way around. The, ga the camera in general does behave a little bit weirdly. It feels like very controlled. I try and move it around and it kind of snaps into place all the time. Are you still following uh. me? Do I have to scream? Bum, 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 bum. You get that little feeling in your heart that's like, Oh my gosh, someone's following me. Hell yeah. Following me? It's like, oh, actually, no. Scream? No one's following me. I'm just being harassed. <laughs> butts, 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 butts. Sorry, one second. I'll just get rid of the butts. I wonder what Hoss is for. Like, what is it? Why do they call everything Hoss? All right, we're good. Yuri, searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Well, from what I understand, there's like a whole lawsuit thing going on that someone posted in the Discord, right? So I doubt they would put their own name on it. Because they're literally being sued into oblivion. 
They've approached the courts to try and get like the legal names for the peoples involved. And apparently they're all in Europe. They're all in like the Nordic countries or something, which is kind of weird. Either that or it's a VPN, you know. That's why they're all like hosses back and shit. Guess who's back? Back again. Prejudice Fox. Tell a friend. Let's head back. Let me do my own exploring, girl. <laughs> okay, baby, thank you. I saw you, ghost. You were too quick for me. Far too quick. Where are we going? Oh, okay, we're going into a cutscene. <laughs> The skin shaders they used are really cool. You could tell they really, really, really wanted to focus on like the look of the characters and water dynamics and fluids and all that kind of stuff. Let's look at all that. Yeah, come on, fam. Hey, ghosty. Oh, cool texture. We got him, got him. Damn, girl. Seriously, though, that is a really cute bikini set. Ghosts would try to attack or grab you. Cool, could I have prevented that? The ghost recoiled when you took a photograph of it. Yeah, it's, this is not my first rodeo. Photograph a ghost weak points to deal damage to them. The capture area is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you're out of film. Press X to enter camera mode. Why did the camera move over there? Uh, okay. Bring the target's head into focus. Hold ZL to lock. So I have to capture all of those? Oh wow, it takes so long to reload. Spirit fragments break off when a ghost takes damage. After a time they are reabsorbed, photograph the fragments before that happens. <laughs> I agree with you, Freda. Mm, I go. Five or more, keep adjusting. Okay, gotcha. Use the art of film. Alright, fam, I get it. Just let me do it. That tutorial is really annoying. Find ghosts indicated by the spirit filament. Red marks on the side of the screen. Oh, I took it out of Call of Duty, did they? When the capture area flashes red as a ghost is attacking, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Apart from a knockback, shots trigger fatal time. When you can take photos, why would they rename it? I mean, they were always zero shots, right? I can't press anything. Oh. Counter-attack by photographing it. I fucking am, dude. That's the thing about tutorials. If you're going to make tutorials, like, wait for a, a player's input to function, then make sure that it works well, you know? Like, it needs to actually... Attack range and oh my gosh, dude, I've played a fatal frame game before. Are we good? No, we're not good. Wow, the turn is so slow. What the fuck turn?
Where are you going, dude? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just wait for him to get out of the fucking wall. Cause... Oh, he moved? Where is... what? Why can't I click the camera? Reload is so long. It's painfully long. Isn't that how we kill him when we get all five? Are we finally done? Okay, cool. Can I play the actual game, please? <laughs> Those water shaders, though. He's alone. I can fix that girl. <laughs> Alright, hopefully the game actually starts for you now. There are actually a few things I want to try and change in terms of the way that it controls. Because last time I played this... Meaning, last time I tested this, uh, it controlled a little better for memory, so I think I might have to tweak some shit. Because there is a way to keep the gamepad up, I'm pretty sure. Who that? Who are you? Get in the box! What's in the box? Another maiden getting sacrificed. I getcha, I getcha. So she was locked in a box to prevent some sort of cataclysm. 20 points if I'm right. <laughs> Mr. Hojo? Oh, who are you? Hosoka came by a little while ago. Oh, Hosoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here. There has to be a way to boost the volume on this fucking thing. Look at him, seriously, Reed. Oh, here we go. Hey. I found a volume slider. Let me know if it's too loud now, but I think we're good, yeah? Uh, while learning about shadow reading from Hisoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream or a suppressed childhood memory? This question has plagued him for some time. Have any of y'all actually seen a post-mortem photograph album? Because I saw a few in Cyprus and gosh, so creepy. So creepy.
They don't really look dead though. They look like they're sleeping, I guess, which is pretty normal. Some picks, yeah. Uh, all right, 26 minutes, first drop. Uh, we got some points and it gave us a rank just for one mission, okay. So we're still playing Yuri, fine for Yuhi Himino. It's kind of interesting how it's done this. We also have a costume screen. <laughs> you can see the patch I applied has defaulted my outfit to an outfit I haven't unlocked. How about that? What else we got? Ren? Ren, no bikini for Ren. I'm sorry y'all who wanted to see him in a bikini. It didn't, I guess it's not in the original game. Sort of lame. Um, but yeah, we've got me, Ren, and Yuri. These are our three characters for the game. Boo! I'd love to see him in a bikini. I reckon that'd be rad. So we actually have, like, all these stats now. Episode 8%. Uh, uh, uh. Ara, ara. At least give me some board shorts or something. Uh, it has been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. Young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is given a missing person case, something Hisoka forbade. And we can actually select difficulty based on chapter. That's interesting. Oh, and we can buy. So they've kept the shop. Ten herbals, five sacred. What's that? Cleansing flames that removes wetness and taint. Okay. And a Blackstone Revive, oh, okay. Uh, and we've got some film. He has a kimono outfit. I mean, you can't go to the beach in a kimono outfit. Or can you? I don't know. I'm culturally not educated. <laughs> Is that a common thing? Being wet isn't good, at least in the game. <laughs> I don't know, the developers seem to quite, quite think uh, quite like it. Uh, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. I mean, all the all the clothing is super transparent. I know we're playing with a bikini, but even when you play with like the normal outfit from just the bits I did play while I was testing it, basically the clothes become so transparent she's revealing everything anyway. Uh, as she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Fuyuhi Kimino shows up claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Uh, men do wear yukatas, a light summer kimono, at least some I know. Oh, okay, cool. A light summer kimono. I need some shades. It's too bright. Where's my tentacle friend? There you are. Hey. Where'd you go? Stay by my side. Um. Excuse me. Hello. Um. Well, that's a cute outfit too. I'm Looking for Hisoka Kurosawa. Is she here? Oh, I'm sorry, but she stepped out. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. I've been waiting for her to tell me if, if she could help me find someone. Apparently, this game does actually look better on the Wii U. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain, Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told yeah, me. Yeah, in red or black or black and purple. I saw my friend there. <laughs> what, why are we? It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? Are we staring at her boobs? I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that. We're not staring at her boobs, we're staring at her Maybe heart because we're emp em me. empathic people. Empathetic, there you go. <laughs> don't worry. As soon as Ahsoka gets back, I'll tell her. No, that's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. Oh yeah, black with red trim. Huh? Come back. <laughs> the reveal of her in a bikini. Come back. 
A missing person case? Question mark. Hisoka left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Hisoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. And then it shows us the map. Thank you. Oh, it even marked the map for us. Okay. What is that noise? Can we turn that off? I'm still nervous about standing here by myself as I've never been good at handling customers. I've only just learned how to make coffee and I've never actually served a customer yet. Alright, it's pretty simple. Most people don't really pay attention to servers. I mean, unless they're in bikinis, I guess. Yeah, can we turn it off? It's very loud. Pendulum of the old grandfather clock sways slowly. The clock itself may be broken, but it works well as a decoration. Cool, cool. I feel you. Wait, there was something there, wasn't it? Could you... Oh my gosh, she turns so weirdly. Oh no, it's nothing there. But yeah, look at how pretty this game is. Holy crap. I really love seeing modern survival horror games that kind of, they keep the traditional feeling of a survival horror, but then you actually get that a nice polished visual look. It's very cool. A bit like Tormented Souls, I guess. Ooh, lots of notes. One of 9,000. A book about Mount Hikami was lying on the bookshelf. Uh, how does a place become famed for suicide? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation and people are drawn to these spots out of a desire not to be alone in the end. Interestingly, these suicide spots are rarely known as hotspots for spiritual activity. This is what makes Mount Hikami distinct. It has both a tradition of suicide and long been associated with ghost sightings. Then there are the so-called Maidens of Blackwater. Here we go. Give me that lore. It is said that if you are found by one of those maidens, they will lead you to your death. Oh, okay, right. So the maidens of Blackwater are those uh, hair bondage ghosts. Caught in the maiden's gaze, never again leave the mountain, so the rumor goes. There are also tales of specters who relive their own death. Those who do not die in accordance with local practices become cursed. Forced to relive their final moments for eternity. God, that would fucking suck. Many of the people who have been kept from committing suicide claim to have seen a maiden or one of these looping specters and felt a strong compulsion to kill themselves. <sighs> so many notes. Mount Hikami has long been feared to be haunted. In the past it was said that sleeping with one's feet facing the mountain was taboo. Watching the sun set behind the mountain too was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Can I invite forth beings from your netherworld, girl? The mountain is said to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors around abound of people spirited away to that accursed peak. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace of themselves. Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the lake of the departed. Since becoming a tourist destination, frightening tales did seem to diminish. Even so, despite its fleeting status as a tourist hotspot, Mount Hikami is yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today it has become a popular place at which to commit suicide. Such a strange cultural thing to have like suicide spots, right? Like that's not, I don't think that's a thing that exists. At least not that I've heard of in America or Australia or in the West, quote unquote, you know? I think they also said in the trailer the graphics are improved, so that's nice. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm keen to see what they what they did to it, really. The wall of the house next door is just visible through the frosted glass. Not that useful information, but thank you. Do I have to scream? Baby, can you take care of that? You have to um, forward slash ban and put the name in. So you just copy paste the name and then make sure you also click on the name in the in the activity thing and right click uh, uh what is it there's ban and there's block so you need to do both of those things but 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 
Yeah, they're uh, they're increasing increasing their activity over the last two days. I think it's because of the lawsuit, so they're really pushing it. <coughs> they're like having a little tantrum. Let us be assholes. Come on, please. Let us be immature little pricks. Got him. Thank you, baby. There's a clock on top of the old dresser. The face is worn and faded. His focus seems to really like this clock. Cool. I actually would be interested in having someone else join our mod team for the channel. Um, so if you're interested, maybe message me on Discord. Just so we can cover our bases when baby is busy and stuff. Because right now it is Hex and Jacob who have mod powers. Oh, we've been in here, haven't we? We have. Okay. Oh, gosh, her little outfit. I mean, when I knew there was an option to enable these bikinis, I had to take it, even if it took me a while to set up. This makes playing it so much fun, so much more fun, what can I say? Oh, uh, and I saw the bots before, I wanted to ban them, but then I was like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Leads to the bathroom, his like he prefers a large bathtub, but it's too large for me to relax in very easily. Yeah, the only real, um... The only re real prerequisite for becoming a mod would be that you're in the streams fairly regularly, uh, regardless of game, you know. And uh, you're keen to occasionally ban some bots. And you don't abuse your power. Power. I have arrived. The stream may begin. Hey, Sunny. Welcome in. Nice to see you. How are you doing? How do, How is Tasmania treating you? Ahsoka gave me this room when I moved in. It used to be her bedroom. It's been a while since I moved in. Haven't unpacked. I know that feeling. I've still got boxes all over the place. There are some baskets and file cases on top of the dresser. Ahsoka set them out for me, but I'm not sure what to do with them. Um, put your shit in them. Ah, uh, it's raining. I do love the rain, so... When I don't make my bed, I'll do it later. It's a bad attitude, girl. I'm down for a little bed-making minigame. Why not? The lighting in this game is really, really nice. And so is the plot. Does she have an idle animation? Does the plot have an idle animation? Negative. But yeah, I'm constantly impressed by skin shaders because they're so advanced. Oh, that was weird. Is this modded or did Nintendo let this ship? Nintendo let this ship in Japan. They did not let this ship in Europe. So... I don't know. Explain it. I don't I don't really get it. It seems semi-hypocritical, uh, right? I'm not really sure to think, think of that. Maybe they understand. They're culturally... There's Ahsoka's room. She really likes the traditional Japanese style. What is the sound of the radio? May we turn it off? Stop it. Oh yeah, the Switch they don't care anymore. But they used to care, right? They pixelate genitals in Japan. Yeah, but... <clears throat> I mean, they pixelate genitals in a very, very, like... Like... When they started doing that, there was quite a lot of pixelation. Now it's basically just a tiny little bar. It basically obscures nothing, right? And also, like, they'll, they'll uh, pixelate a, 
a schlong, let's say. Uh, but then a tentacle that looks exactly like a schlong that's doing all the things that a schlong does, they don't pixelate. So it's, you know, it's, I don't know, it's a bit strange. I think censorship in general is a bit strange no matter where you are in the world, right? An open envelope has been left on the desk. The sender's name reads for Yuhi Himino. This must be for you. He's missing person request. It may provide some clues. Nine million pages. I'm sure it's bad in actual porn, though. Oh, I mean, I, I watch actual Japanese porn. And it, it, it varies, honestly. Uh, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You, don't, you do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive, I know it, but something has to be done. Remember when you found the precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. Aw, it's cute. Ah, uh, so this might be the reason why they didn't bring the outfits in Europe. It might be because they are the most of the time underage. Yeah, probably. I mean, the characters in this game are 17, I think. So she they're like right on the cusp, girl. you know, of being legal or whatever. Because that's a determinant somehow. Mount Hikami. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose. A place where many come to take their lives. <laughs> I'm positive that Fuyuhi must have come here. I mean, Japan is is sort of obsessed with youth and that kind of stuff. I don't think it's... Yeah, I, I think it's complicated, honestly. I mean, let's face it, the difference between a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old is pretty fucking minuscule, but we're just talking about legal things and... Then we were talking earlier when we've been playing Fatal Frame games about how the, con the age of consent is different in different countries. In Japan, it's different, so... It could be that's the reason that it was censored, I'm not sure. But, I mean, she's a fictional character. Whether she's 17 or 18 or 22, she looks the same in the game. So, like, it's just... it's fucking dumb shit. It's really dumb. Whatever. Uh, just saying that makes me feel like a creepy middle-aged homophobe. Why is feminine youth so important in Japan? If you're 30 without kids or marriage over there, you're a failure. I mean, is that just Japan? That sounds like a pretty normal statement for most of the hetero world. She's a 3,000-year-old dragon. Exactly. It's fine. Probably best not to think about all the implications. And just enjoy the fact that she is a very, very pretty model with a very, very pretty outfit. And she does not exist in the real world. <laughs> now it's dark, we don't need shades anymore. You telling me to remove my shades? How dare you? Whoosh. Uh, okay. Whoosh. The trace should lead me to her. Alright, so it wants me to follow it. I hope the game doesn't constantly hold my hand like that. I really just want to explore. Yeah, I know game, but there's other paths to follow, right? Tentacle is chillin'. Tentacle is chillin'. Tentacle is doing its thing. This tentacle is super, super passive. But sometimes the other tentacles get jealous, you know, which is a shame, but there's not much you can do about it. Settle down, settle down. Oh yeah, they're all friendly tentacles. They are friends. I actually posted a... a doujin in the Discord of like a consensual tentacle story, a uh, H story written by a woman. It's very cool. I would recommend it if you're like more into the consensual side of it because I think a lot of people associate tentacles with um, non-consent, right? The road is collapsed and the stone stairs are cut off. It must have been the landslide. <laughs> I'll go over read, be right back. There's three books and they're all good. Although it is like, you know, um, what's the word? Hardcore or whatever. So I give you a warning. The old road seems to carry on the edge of the cliff. 
Okay, this way. There's something on the ground. What is it? <gasps> oh, it's another one of these fucking things. Cool. <gasps> Spooky disembodied hand. How? How does the ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object? Yeah, I, I, I know. I was there. Press release ZR at the right moment to dodge it. If you do get grabbed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, release ZR at the right time to dodge it. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this shit. Hell yeah. This is away from the pool of purification. So from what I understand, this is quite a long game, isn't it? You don't have a camera obscura, okay. An old stone monument has been set in the rocky hollow. It's covered in moss. It must be a memorial. What's that thing on the side there? Is that how wet I am? Cause my gosh, that's an interesting mechanic. How wet can we get? How wet can we get? How wet can we get? Purifying embers, coals the light the forbidden flame, they dry you and remove the taint of the black water. The wetness gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, hmm. You become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Really? That's interesting. Nothing to read into there. That's not sexual at all. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. How about no? Oh, hello. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, shit. Hello. Are you okay? Ah, uh, so is this the European version <gasps> of the game? It- Oh, I didn't- I should have dodged that. It is indeed Metroid Gus, the European- Oh my gosh, could you please let go? Uh, the European version of the game, yeah. Uh, it has been patched though, so there are Japanese aspects to the game, if you like. It is my first time playing though, so... Check. But yeah, how are you Metroid Gus? Grass and trees just come out among it. Okay. Chillin, chillin. Always good. Chillin is good. Getting more hyped for the remaster seeing you play it. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm super excited for the PC port. I definitely probably will play it again if I enjoy this game. And so far, the, the verticality of the level, the visual aesthetic, the way it controls. I kind of like it all, so... We'll see how battles are. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop with this shit game. <sighs> I wish it would keep happening so I could get good at dodging. I just have to be ready. I have to be ready. Oh, it's not this way? Or is it? Oh, there you are. So what's interesting is there is a button if you're stuck in this game that tells you where to go. They have definitely, definitely like pushed for less confusion when you're playing, you know. Did we come from over here? Or did we not explore? I think we did. Did we? Now I'm confused. What's that down here? Is this a save point? I guess this is not Fatal Frame 2. I uh, played this one a while back. Yeah, I'll get the PC release once uh, it releases. Yeah, I'm sure they'll they'll do gangbusters with the numbers. And I'm kind of curious to see if that will lead them to making more Fatal Frame games. Maybe this is a test, you know. I hope you can like this game because I'm not sure how you'll feel about the fight without the actual Wii U pad. Yeah, that's understandable. And also, I have been fairly critical on the, of the Fatal Frame series in general. Um, oh, look at the weird reflection thing going on there. That's not how reflections work. Um, four being my favorite, so let's see. 
how it compares, I guess. Uh, Metroid Gus, I want to get the PC version as well. I agree, hopefully they're testing the waters with it. Yeah, exactly. Cordoned off. Yep, thank you. Don't make me spin for no reason. Uh, where is this item? Alright, let's try now. Alright, we've got our... We've got a stun lens, a switch. All right, let's go check it out. Hold the Wii U gamepad in front of you and press X to use the camera obscura. I can't see anything, okay. Select film. All right, so we have unlimited seven, that's cool. Select lens. Uh, okay, yep, gotcha. And then fight a ghost, cool. Where? Where am I doing? Oh, there you are. Hello. Would you like to go again, sir? Alright, so that doesn't stun them the same way that... Uh, hello? Oh, okay. Oh, that was kind of weird, the way it transparently... Let's get some room here. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Come on. Oh, that other one attacked me. Shit. Get up here. Oh. Oh my gosh. I want to see if there's a quick turn button. I hate the way it defaults with that the view down. But yeah, the combat so far seems alright. Chem obscure must have been carried here by the current. Means to soak on the mountain too. I should focus on finding for Yuhi first. She can't have gone far. The camera controls are pretty fun how they work with the gamepad. Yeah, I'm not using the gamepad, so I'm not sure I'll get the same experience. Uh, I generally don't really like the whole, like, movement gimmick of the later Nintendo console, so I'm not sure how much I would enjoy it in real life if I had the console. Um, that's why I'm sort of looking forward to the PC port. But, you know, I'd be willing to give it a try, I guess. Uh, in October, I want to play 1 to 3, and hopefully I'm able to get 5. I don't want to play 4 again, because I hate the Wii controls. Hey, girl. No, come back. Yeah, but 4 is such a good game. I don't know if you agree with me, but 4 is so fucking good. You can emulate uh, the Wii controls fairly well. I mean, you saw me play it, right? It, it worked pretty well. Maybe better than this one. <clears throat> Oh, four was so good because I was I really didn't have fun in three. The story was excellent, but just there was so much to really dislike about the way three was designed personally. Um, it's like they didn't really learn. It's like they leaned into all the mistakes they made in the first two games, which is such a strange direction to go. But the story is definitely worth it, I guess. Uh, the plants here are slightly different than the ones below the pool. I must be close to the unfathomable forest. Unfathomable, eh? Um, yeah, but where's the... Okay. I haven't finished four because my wrist is a little fucked since more than a week. Got an ice pad on it, ice pack on it right now. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it stops hurting for you. But no, that's, that's fair enough. Oh, there's an item here. Let's see if I get ghosty attacked. Okay. I love this 
little forest environment. It's very cool. It's fun to get to do this in a Fatal Frame game. That was one thing I really liked about 2, uh, how in the open it was. Even though it was a fairly small area you get to explore, it was still kind of really cool to play one that was in... that wasn't indoors the whole time. Why would you default me over there, my, my dude? Let me see if I can fix that. So if we go to tools... Sorry, just give me a second. I'm just seeing if I can fix some of the the, um, the weird eccentricities related to emulation. Input settings. Oh, right. So I have to blow on the mic. What? <laughs> CLZR. Yeah, so far the outdoor environments are really cool. Like, they just look really good, right? Oh, shit. It's already 126. Well, we just made it into the unfathomable forest. Uh, if I can pause it, that would be excellent. Okay, I have to do that. And what we will do is we'll have a quick break. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that we take quick breaks to prevent pre-rolls for new people coming in. And uh, it also gives me a chance to have a little bit of a stretch and drink a little bit of coffee and roll a little bit of a smoke. So yeah, I will be back very yeah. shortly. Yeah. Nya, nya. Yeah. <laughs> nya. Nya. Wave tentacles. All right, tentacles, give a little wave. You know you want to. Ara, ara. Ara, ara. So yeah, I will tend to my tentacles as I give you a little wave. And uh, I will be back very shortly. So don't nobody go nowhere. I will see you soon.
Oh, are we back? Uh, wait, um, I just, I, uh, um, I, um, okay, I uh, oh, stop, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 all right, go away. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's fine, they were just, you know, uh, they're, just, they're just a little bit feisty, it's all good, it's all good. All right, so we will go back to playing the game, and yeah, we got another bot. I can tell you what was going on. I mean, uh, nothing. Nothing was going on. It's it's all good. Uh, you know, things happen when you have tentacle pets. What can I say? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go back to the game. Um, let's see over here. And bam, we are back. But yeah, those bots are, are kind of relentless at the moment, aren't they? Very, very annoying. Yay for the boots. Uh, the boots. The boots? What you mean? <laughs> what the heck? Mm. <laughs> Loving the new avatar? Thank you, Twenty. Much appreciated. All right, let's, let's jump back into it. Oh, the bots. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm drawing goth boots for my avatar at the moment. So I thought maybe you meant that. <laughs> I was like, how could you know about that? Alright, we're back. Very ominous soundtrack. I knew it, the cop in Silent Hill is from The Walking Dead. Oh, really? From the movie? Huh. As who? As who? Wait. Andrea, it is Andrea, right, right. Uh, is the Discord 18 plus? Uh, I would say, so the Discord itself, it, it is for mature audiences in general, but there is sections that are delineated for 18 plus, uh, the NSFW section. Uh, but yeah, we do talk about some occasional mature things in the other areas uh, as well, but generally we won't allow nudity or things of that nature in the other areas. So, I think, I think if you are, I think, yeah, I think it would be fine, honestly. It's up to you though, right? Just be aware it's an adult space. Uh, okay, this way. Oh, okay, right. Uh, can we just go for a little bit of a swim? Oh, hello. Move. Go back. Why am I looking there? It takes so long to reload. Hello? Sorry, dude, but you know, you kind of asked for it. I mean, why are you. Why are you lumbering towards me in a really creepy way? I didn't, I didn't ask for this. Are you ever gonna attack or what? Okay, that didn't work. Fuck me! So I have to remember how to do this. You have to basically catch all five and then do that, right? Are we good or is there someone else there? Oh shit! Oh, I thought the lantern was a ghost. What is happening over here? Are you just dying or...? Alright. <laughs> My kind of adult space. Uh, wait, what's 18 plus? Because I think I didn't see that. Um, so Dink. The Dink channel is our 18 plus channel and Weird Links is also 18 plus. Uh, and you can access them by clicking the enroll selection. There's a button for it. Nice, you killed a ghost. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, apparently it comes back though, because I've seen several of that variety of ghosts. With the dark lightning, I thought our hero had gone Gyaru. <laughs> So yeah, there's shader issues in the emulation, which is why her hair occasionally looks a bit odd. 
Can the ghost come back as the ghost of a ghost? Oh, ghostception. I think the answer is yes, though. Oh, I like how open this little area is. Very cool. Oh my gosh, why? That's so fucking dumb. There's got to be a way to fix that. I'll work on that. Uh, I don't know what to do now that Haraku, Har Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone. I realize how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Um, maybe she'll already know- she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. Who's for Yuhi? Which character is that? Are we, uh... Is gay shit? Is gay shit? Oh my gosh. Ha! Oh. I need more room. I need room. Cool ghost though. Hey fam. There's one coming up to my left. There. Oh hello. What a little creep you are. Oh how many are there? I'm definitely gonna get attacked by the one to my left. Back up, give me room. Oh, are they dead? It's weird that it doesn't do the whole like, congratulations, killed ghost thing, you know, that, it, that uh, the other games do. Jesus, dude. Oh my gosh. Why are you yelling at me? I'm doing my best here. God. All right, it's gonna get frustrating real quick. Oh, he's dead. All right, cool. Uh, bot told me I'm eligible for roll from messages, but I don't see it yet. Oh, do I need a roll? And if so, how do I give it to myself? Uh, I'm confused, bloody Mina. Um. Wouldn't you have the rolls already? Let me go have a look. So if I click your name, whoops. It'll tell me what rolls you've got. <clears throat> no rolls. Okay, so you're going to get rolls and you've got the role selection area and you can click one of the three buttons to join the different like um, orders within our Discord. So there's the uh, Defender of the Blood, Executioner of the Bone, or Worshipper of the Flesh. Uh, then you can click your pronouns, and then you've got the NSFW one. So you need to add all of those. No, you don't click your name. You click the, the, get, the get Rolls channel. Uh, we will we'll discover what the orders are all about eventually, don't you worry. Spoilers. Uh, items is heal. What the hell? Did that say 90? Oh, 99 is the most I can pick up. It shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. You just click the little reaction buttons under the posts. Unless they look different to you or something. The tales I read about Mr. Hikami were true. I can't handle any more death. I've seen that girl hang herself over and over. I've had enough. When I try to run, I wind up back here. Yeah, yeah, the bit that says role selection. I found myself mimicking her. My body moved on its own, just like that girl. I felt I was doing the right thing. Yeah, so you have to click the, you have to have a role to click the one at the bottom. 
As I hung there, my final thought was that death takes a long time to come. I watched the sunset. When I awoke, I was back here. I should already be dead. Will I be forced to see the sunset again, to go through it all again? I am fading bit by bit. I must go. So ghosts can write notes now? Okay. Oh, I see an item over there. What the fuck? Is there a ghost? Or was it just like trying to spook me? Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, if you still can't figure it out, like, I think I can assign you roles. So just let me know. Alright, it goes that way, but I saw an item over here. I got it? Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, the camera is sometimes super weird. Alright, do we see any more items in this area? It's quite a large little area, isn't it? God, I would imagine having this in your backyard. I would always be outdoors. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, I see an item. There's just film everywhere. Oh, sorry. Cursor was there as well. It's weird how it shows like a ghost symbol whenever I go to pick up an item. How- oh, Jesus, nine. Chris, we're getting there. How long have I been here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm glad I decided to do things right and come here to die. This place feels right. Yeah, already. I thought I might get lonely, but there are people here, people who aren't alive. This place may be as strange as people say. I heard children playing just now. I tried to get a look at them, but they ran off before I could get close. Did they come here on their own or were they left here? Earlier, I heard the sound of raspy breathing and running. After that, I heard a scream. I was scared and held my breath. I'm not scared of death, but that was terrifying. I saw a woman dressed in white today. She was draped in cloth, so I couldn't see her face. She seemed to stare at me for a while, then left. Which side is she on, I wonder? Will she be back? I saw her again. She turns up every day watching me. I feel her gaze, but not her presence. As soon as I n notice her, she disappears. She must be constantly watching me. I heard a voice, a mourning voice, like screaming. No, like singing. It was a call of some kind, but not for me, not yet. My time is yet to come. Everything I bought with me is gone. Now I have nothing. I like it here. Nothing matters now. This was the right choice. I'm glad I came. She will come soon. She will take me away. She is calling. I must go. Awesome. Would you go into a dark, spooky forest to meet a... hair bondage ghost? Because <clears throat> I think I would consider it, honestly. In the beginning of a hentai. Yeah, these, I mean, you're not wrong. Also, welcome in, Atticus. How are you doing? Hentai. Hentai. I just don't have the time to capture, like, ghost photos, which is a bit of a shame, because it means I won't be able to, like, get that percentage going. But, do my best, I guess. Because of the emulation, you know. Uh, crouch. I didn't have to crouch to go through here, though, did I? Oh my gosh, please move. I want the item that's, like, near the lake. 
Uh, one thing I don't know is how I feel about the noise filter the game has. Uh... So it seems fairly subtle, to be honest. Unless there's more on the camera, which is possible. But they are uh, all the all the Fatal Frame games kind of play around with noise filters, right? Oh, I like that you can actually see what item they are now. There's so many items in this area. I did let go. It didn't work. Maybe I wasn't quick enough. Her hand went right through that fucking thing. Uh, okay, we got a hostile ghost. If we could walk, that'd be rad. I do miss a quick turn from four. These two again. Didn't we already deal with you? Oh, hello, all three. Oh shit, he coming. He coming. Are you dead? What the heck? Oh, hello, dude. Uh, let me just get some clearance. Can you back up? Back up. No, back up. Back up. Another one? God damn it. Disappointed. Um, is it pointing at an item or what's going on here? It is, okay. Well, anything that starts like a hentai, I'm down for it, to be honest. Oh, we can get in the water. Oh, only so far though. Check. Alright, he goes that way. Let's do a bit of a bit of a search. Uh we come from here? We may have actually. See, she goes to turn and then she like turns in the other direction. It's so strange. We're just having a quick look for items. Although it has a store in this game, so it's not like I actually, I feel like I probably won't need items. Oh, there's one down there. Can I get to that? It's pretty far away. Uh, did this game tell you something about touching yet? Excuse me? <laughs> I kind of was busy to see how I got a roll in the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, touching... T t touching what? what? What do you mean? Please elaborate. Uh, but the answer I guess is no. Touching a ghost when you kind of finish them off. Golly! Golly gosh. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. Life is nothing but bitches and hoes. Be my suicide note. To the window! To the wall. <clears throat> but no, I don't think we've touched any ghosts yet to finish them off. But that sounds fun. I'm down. I can see why this game is much longer, because if you've got like a bunch of Im quite detailed environments... Uh, how do I get back there? Hang on. I 
How the hell did I end up on the other side of this area? Or is it pointing me in a different direction? I just want to find that house thing. The shrine. Okay, so I may be lost. <laughs> oh, I saw something over there, though. I guess it doesn't really matter if you're lost if you're still finding items. I'm in Discord with a friend and she fell asleep. She just snored and I thought, why is there this sound in the game? <laughs> why is the game snoring? How do I get there? Alright, um... Can I go through here? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I had a map. Because I haven't really needed a map because the game literally points you in the direction you need to go most of the time. It's kind of an interesting... interesting thing to do, honestly. Alright, let's go check out what this is. I guess we've explored a lot. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used dolls in its ceremony. This looks like they've been out for quite some time, exposed to the elements. Awesome. The funny thing is, it doesn't sound like normal snoring, so I thought it's from the game. <laughs> snoring is an odd sound. What does it sound like if not normal snoring? Yep, thanks for that. Thank you for pointing me in the completely wrong direction. Love it. Love, it. Love that for me. Wait, what? Oh, there's a note here. I want to take a photo of the door. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation, the song of memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I ever even hum the tune, I start to tear up. Hey, girl. <laughs> kind of like when a cat is hissing. Tell your friend they snore like a hissing cat. And now she's moaning? Get me in on that action. Oh, oh okay, let me try and take a photo of this. <laughs> Can I take a photo of this? Alright. I guess not. Oh, he's going somewhere else now, so that's fine. To the window! God damn it. Finally! Yay, a spirit photo. Yeah, it's been so difficult to get those. Why? I don't know why it defaults to like a random position. Uh, let's try these. Oh, wait, I need to do that, right? What's the button for it? That's definitely not it. Why are, why are there so many map buttons? Like three map buttons? Is that necessary? Back up, dude. Back up.
Where? Oh, hello. Um, can you... Go, girl. Why is there an invisible collider right there? Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Be right back? No problem at all. Do what you gotta do. Section's a little bit like a maze, quite interesting. Drink forth from the cup. Will do. Thank you. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Ow, are you okay? Glug glug glug. I should probably do like a glug animation. For you, he. Excuse me? Are you a person? I should heal. Alright, so we've got 13 of those. Let's heal. That's fine. And then we've got camera. Can we upgrade yet? Let's see. Camera sensor. Increasing attack distance. These are fairly ex ex uh, expensive. And we've got lenses. I wish I knew how to use the lens. Sleepy. Oh no, salt. You're sleepy. It's okay if you want to have a nap, I understand. Um, I do want to see if I can figure out what button the, uh, the power is. So why? Why does nothing? R1? Maybe it's R1 because it's making kind of a strange noise. So if it was charged, it probably would work. Alright, it's good to know. She's here on the mountain. I love Have this girl's top. No, but she's This is here. tentacle country. I I have to find her. It kinda makes me want to do fan art <gasps> of like driving through an open area with full of tentacles. <laughs> Uh, what are y'all doing? I think I've seen this movie. It's a uh, suicide circle, right? I wonder. Have any of y'all seen Suicide Circle? Shit is Why pretty intense. The, the scene right at the start of the movie? Jeez. Gotta get wetter, girl. Gotta get wetter. Hey, I'll go and look for Haruka. Added to list. It's an interesting movie for sure. I would check it out. It was my favorite for ages, many years Let's ago. Let's go back. Oh, oh we have a companion. And it wants us to... Wow, it's pretty fucking far away, fam. To die alone in a place like this. Just give me, a, give me a chance to have a look at you. If I can get my character to move correctly. Wow, that's some weird glowing effects. Oops, I didn't mean to run into you. Why are we both glowing? See, do you have programmed photos yet? You react? It does react, that's weird. Why'd you react that way? It's a very, very it's a weird way to react to being photographed. Okay. Alright, whatever. Let's go, I guess. 
So we need to turn, go through the water. Not cool. Alright, let's try the stun thing. Oh, that doesn't work. That's <laughs> just completely unfazed. I love it. You realize there's ghosts behind you, right? Would you like a photo? Here you go. You're just gonna stare at me? You're just gonna stare there and watch me burn. Smile, girl. Why do you react that way? It's a very strange way to react. You're being sus. Sus, cute girl, is sus. Uh, Alright, we're going this way. That's all. Where? Well, usually when you say that you point at something. Alright, well, okay. Fuyuhi! What the fuck is going on? What the hell is happening? Oh, this is super cool. Are they enemies? I can't even tell. They don't seem to be attacking me. Oh, you seem to be attacking me. Hello. kid. Alright, I took care of them, I think. That was pretty cool though, I really thought the movement of the ghosts there were, were was uh, very well done. Where did, uh, where did the girl go? Where'd you go girl? Are you okay? Yeah, well, I mean, that is the plan. Stop it. I guess she went in here. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? For you, he. Why are you being weird? Haruka. She's here. Excuse me? Who's here? You see the shader pop in? That was interesting. How do I use my powers though? Oh, okay, cool. So she's gonna follow me again? Are you going to follow me? You are. Cool, let's go. Let's go! Get the fuck out of this forest. Yeah, I know, I saw it. <laughs> this is super cool so far. I really, really dig this.
Oh no. Oh, that's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Damn, girl. Got me dinner first. You ever been licked by a ghost? Close your eyes Oh, it's so cute that she's singing Oh my gosh, my heart is melting. This is so cute. Yandere? Oh, then do it, girl. If you're into cutting, I can, uh, I can help you know. No. Wait, did she actually... Oh, no. I mean, the bloody look is cool, but... I'm not gonna say I'm not into it. Uh, to dodge, press B just as you're about to be attacked? Well, that didn't work. What the hell is B? Why am I on the map? Where'd you go, girl? What if they photograph the weapon? Those full body shots, uh huh? I don't know how to use my power. I don't want to. Oh my gosh, I have to like claw my arm into this weird position to try and do this. Battling in this game is going to be kind of difficult until I figure this out. I have to mess around with the controller scheme a bit. What are you doing? Whoa. It's fucking dark, man. We have five yet? I don't think we do. Hopefully at some point I figure out how to use the fucking power. Mm -hmm. 
I'm too far away, I think. There's definitely five there. Why is she not leaving? Stop this, girl. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I should probably heal. Oh, gosh. Stop cutting yourself. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, it's annoying because I just took a photo. Why won't you die? Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. All right, let's maybe increase our film type stock because this is not working. How much health does she have? wrong? What's going on here? Why did they go Fatal Frame 2 on this to make them have like incredible health? I really need to work on my recharge in terms of points. Why would you die, girl? wants to play forever well it's definitely working do you think i just have to leave oh no there she goes all right fuck that took a really long time if you touch a weakened ghost it triggers a fatal glance and you'll see its memories touch the ghost i need to ask me twice i will touch the ghost a lot. hey girl um <laughs> Last I heard. How are you, Ultimate Unit? Nice to see you. Welcome in. Yeah. I'm hoping that we get like the HP gauge at some point, like we do in the other Fatal Frame games. Because from memory, one of them doesn't have it. I can't remember which one. This is fairly graphic. Blackwater. <gasps> she coming for me. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Oh, are we in another battle? Uh, no, you didn't miss too much, Mina. We we did learn how to touch a ghost, so I was into that. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by the black water. If this happens, your health will continually decrease. Use purifying embers. Uh, okay. I guess we'll use one. And we'll heal while we're here. Alright. 
It was a very long battle. We had to fight our suicidal friend. It was pretty graphic too. Whoa! Hey girl! You're pretty. Where'd you go? Yeah, it was a good scene, honestly. Fucking the reload takes so long. Yeah, because the fight was going so long, I just needed it. I needed to do more damage. Is this doing anything? I mean, I'm guessing we don't have to kill her because she's like the main antagonist, right? I feel like I should have got that, but okay. Oh. That's right, you can just buy a film in this. Oh, she's gonna attack. I don't have. I need to reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why are you being so ominous, girl? Oh my gosh. Probably just wait for her to attack, I guess. Oh, god damn it! Why am I in the map? Run, just run, go, just run. There you go. The shrine maiden, she's the one that bought Fuyuhi here, the one who made her... The one who made her. It's too dangerous, I can't stay here, I have to go back for now. Uh, okay. Why is it pointing me at... Oh, there's a note here. Yeah, I made her kill herself. I looked into Mount Hikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot. Haruka wouldn't go, go to die alone, no, not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away. They get called towards it and disappear alone. I read how it calls to people who, who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She always opens up to me. She's alert even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But why, where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets and the more my heart starts to pound. Uh, do, am I just leaving this way? Head down the mountain. I think so. Oh, okay, right. So we've already come through there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. That is a cliff. But yeah, I'm really liking this so far. They've put a lot of effort into the cinematic nature of the ghosts. I quite like it. Also, the, uh, the water shaders definitely don't hurt. <laughs> Am I wet? That's kind of a... That's a pretty personal question to ask someone who's streaming, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you mean in the game? What is happening here?
<laughs> I know, I was just playing along. Run, girl, run. While searching for a friend, Himino ended up taking her own life. Having witnessed for you his final moments, Yui knows she wasn't alone when she died. What are the other women who killed herself in the same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden, Sodden, from the rain. Yuri managed to locate Hisoka's camera obscura along with a charm she always liked to wear. For now, she must return to the antique shop alone. That was super cool. That was very, very cool. I liked all of that. Rank B, not bad. Hentai. Hentai. So that, that one chapter, second drop was an hour clear time. I need me some tentacles. Tentacles! I also like the game. Yeah, I mean, I think I've liked... I've honestly liked all of the, um... The Fatal Frame games in one way or another. But I haven't liked all of the... Uh, basically, like... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I like them all, but some of them I like more than others, I guess. You know? Uh, baby, can you take care of Poss? I'm not sure if Mallowy Bloat is a bot either. Uh, Mallowy Bloat, if you would like to uh, still following me? say something in chat Do so I, I know you're scream? real. Just because we're currently dealing with like a bot epidemic. I actually don't know if my baby is there. I will go take care of it quickly. Just give me a moment. The Hoss Master. Master of what? Nonsense. Actually, what I can do is I'll check how old Malware's account is. One hour ago. Probably a bot, right? Should we ban Mala? I'll give you a few moments to possibly reply, Mala we blow, but I think you're a bot. I am not entirely sure. Nonsense! Uh, but that is a roughly time for us to take a second break anyway, so what I will do is... Um, if I can reach the audio tab, there we go. And... Yeah. Shum! Nya nya. Nya. Nya nya. nya. Ara, ara. <laughs> I love the sound effects so much. Most of the time it's two followers at the same time. Yeah, it's probably a bot, right? I should take care of that. Uh, but yeah, we'll be going on a quick break. For those who are here and don't know, we take quick breaks to avoid pre-rolls and people coming in. Uh, but we will be back shortly. And I will also go quickly block that bot, which I assume is a bot. Uh, let's, cause it's such a new account. If it's an if it's an hour old, it's probably a bot, right? And blocked. Yeah, and I didn't say anything in chat, so I just have to kind of assume at the moment, which is a shame. But yeah, all right, we'll be taking a quick break. Don't nobody go nowhere. Be back in three minutes. Enjoy my little anime age clip collage while we're on break. See you soon.
All right, and we back. And yeah, so I actually do want to make more and more, more, more. It takes me about a day to put them together. I want three for like three or four for like a different one each ad break. I think that'd be super cool. Uh, I just need time to to sit down and do it. And I'm working on the avatar stuff right now, and it's just I don't have enough time to do all the things I want to do. It's sort of frustrating, honestly. But welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's been in the lounge with a little dude and more bots. Yeah, all the bots. Forever bots. Oh, tentacles, 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 tentacles. <laughs> the bots are super annoying. It's kind of frustrating, honestly. Alright, so I guess we'll go back to the game. Uh, let's find it. I need to hotkey all this stuff. It makes things so, mi so much easier. Alright, and there we go. Hey Death Tropes, how you doing? Welcome in, nice to see you. Tentacles getting restless, you know how they are. It's unfortunate, but every now and then they... Oh, you mentioned their name now. Oh, they're... Look, what? Oh, that's stupid, silly tentacles, go away, come on. I've got, I got things to do, I've got a game to play here. Stop it, stop it. Alright. But yeah, we're about to jump back into the third chapter of Fatal Frame. And we're playing as the dude now, Ren. Ren Hojo, the author who sent Hisoka to find the photographs, takes a closer look at the album. One photo catches his eye and he decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with the camera obscure and Rui, his assistant. And I guess that's all fine. We don't have to buy anything, right? Maybe we'll buy some of these. Yeah, what have you been up to, Death Tropes? Always good to see you. Third drop, postmortem photography. The bots have been relentless today. That's like 10, I think. I haven't been counting, but it's roughly like... It's a fair amount. <laughs> uh, Ren, a writer, is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual. He receives an album of postmortem photographs located on his request by Hisoka. Upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant. 20 in the last two days. Yeah, it's... They're really, um... Really pushing it, right? I think the reason is because there's, like, a lot of activity surrounding the bot issue currently. Not only because we had the... The day off Twitch thing, but also, <clears throat> also there's like a lawsuit going on, I think. I'm assuming that's sort of what's been causing it, but I mean, it's it's no big deal, right? It's just annoying. <laughs> Had a really nice stream earlier, now I'm just relaxing. Oh, cool. I'm glad your stream went well. Uh, what did you stream? Are you doing runs? And also, will you die with me? Huh? She's beautiful, but she looks sad too. Yeah. Isn't she the type of woman that you get nervous around? Oh. <laughs> yeah. What kind of woman is that? <laughs> Whoops. Ignore that. There may be more of this stuff out there. More women? Shall I call I mean... Ahsoka? No, let's go there ourselves. It'll be quicker that way. At this hour? It won't take long. I played the Nun Massacre and finally finished it. Oh, so that's then, super cool. You take the camera obscura? And then I did some runs and got a world record. Day. You this got a world record? Sure. Congratulations. Nice. People Pog say as fuck. There's something off about that place. Okay. Good job, dude. I should take the shadow reading report with me too and they come in handy. Rule's always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa. <laughs> Look at the way he runs. 
So we didn't get a bikini for this character, unfortunately, like I was saying. I'm crushed. Jesus. All right, relax. Memorial Port... Port... Uh, Porach... What the fuck word is that? The act of photographing dead bodies was a practice in Western countries in the 19th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn keepsake of remembrance. I discovered a similar custom made its way to Japan. Fortunate enough to obtain one such photograph. Okay, I mean this is... Yeah, okay, cool. Oh my gosh. Five... Come on, fam. Sorry, y'all, but... I'm sure we get the gist. Spooky shit. Spooky shit. You want to know what the note says? It says spooky shit. Found item report. Client Ren. Found items retaining in postmortem. Obtain them if possible. Perform shadow reading using a postmortem photograph. Located album. Took custody. <clears throat> Quick notes. Fast notes. This map is super cool. I really like it. Might be in one of the shelves. Oopsie. Hey, kitty cat. How you doing? And this story has anything to do with what's going on, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer. Six pages. Game. Chill. Mr. Uh, Mount Hakami has long been steeped in legend revolving around suicide and ghosts. Revered as a sacred place since time immoral, immem immemorial. Sorry, I cannot speak. It was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine maidens. Once was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into the river. Bam. Several days later, he returned with a torch and blade and proceeded to brutally butcher all the shrine maidens, tossing them into the river as he went. The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughtered corpses of the maidens all the way down to the pool of purification. It is sa said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend goes. With all the maidens dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. The ghosts of shrine maidens still drenched in these bloodied waters have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their eyes are led to their deaths. They follow the, woman, the women into the water and drown themselves. Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the bodies of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago. Oh my gosh, fam. Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework, he can't cook, and he's bad at tidying up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. Damn, shots fired. He loses things. One time I was trying to sort all his books. I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it just disappeared. Yeah, cool. Cool. I get it. It's almost sunset. We should hurry. Good, Lo. Yeah. I accidentally go. made your auto mod unhappy. Oh, no. What did you do? Poor auto mod. Our auto mod is very silly. It bends very strange words. <laughs> this mirror is glitchy as hell. Green projection. Then we follow it with the five page. It's how much reading was in that one little area? I mean, that is the fatal frame staple at this point, I guess. There's a local superstition warning people. Oh, time not to, to smoke. Go up Mount Hikami after dusk. If you climb the mountain in the twilight hours, it'll show you a different form. It's true form. Only those who wish to die come here at that time. But yeah, welcome in, kitty cat. How are you doing? How has your day been? I think that's the inn where the album was found. This must be Ichiru Manor. Ichiru Manor. So, do you think you'll be able to use the camera obscura? I'm still trying to figure that I think out, you to be honest, try kid. It out first, just to be sure. Okay. And more tutorials. Use a multi-shot function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage. After a multi-shot, the camera obscure will take longer than usual to reload. X, okay. R to take consecutive shots. R.
Oh, okay. Be cool to take more photos if you wish. Uh, smile. And take a photo near the. Yeah, there you go. Camera loves you. Camera loves you. Is the camera working? Uh, I don't well, know. Looks like you, so yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, we should go. All right. What do we got here? Let's have a look. I hear the older part of this inn. The part that's further back inside. It was part of some temple or shrine. His run fucking kills me. After oh, it became oh, an oh, inn, oh, oh. the family lived here. Could you walk that way? Thank there you. Was a massive landslide oh, that oh, hit Mount oh, Hikami. Oh, 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 Maybe they were all buried uh, under uh, the rubble. Uh, 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 hey, it looks like the album you asked for was found in the old building. You mean this old building? Yeah. Uh, 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 sure uh, it looks that way. Camera is reacting to something. Hold ZR to find the trail. I mean, why give us a tutorial of something we've already had a tutorial in? I don't, I don't understand. What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you look like a ghost. How you doing? You chilling? Ah, oh, I thought you were an actual ghost. You're just a tease. Ghost tease. Oh, hello. The hatch in the duct has shut itself. It must have been the wind. Um, I mean, there's a whole ghost orgy going on in here. Do you really think it was the wind? Oh, okay. My bad. Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. Hut, 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 hut. Thank you. I don't know the gender of my assistant. Uh, what are your pronouns? Tell me your pronouns. to the place Hisoka mentioned. Pronouns. It should be around here. Pronouns. Is that a ghost? Hey fam. How you doing? Are you okay? Here, let's take lots of photos of you. Okay, that was weird. Ow! What the heck? What are you doing to me? Okay. What are my pronouns? Uh, she, her. All good. It's in my bath section. Oh! Whoa, shit is going haywire in there. They them for me. No problem, I'll keep that in mind, Skull Baby. What is happening? I'm trying to help you and I cannot. Oh, she's dead, okay. I thought uh, our friend here was being possessed. Yeah, I think it's only right, right? To try and be respectful where you can. Alright, we have a little door here. I still don't know our friend here's pronouns.
This game brings back memories. I've never played this game before, but I'm really enjoying it. I can see why I would make someone feel nostalgic, for sure. Ah, uh, they said not to go up there, right? Where do we go? Oh, this way? I would have loved to have played the Fatal Frame games as they were coming out. I'm really bummed that I didn't get to play them back in the day. Because they're just excellent. They're excellent fucking games. I mean, they have their issues, but I mean, what game doesn't, right? This must be the room where Hasoka found that album. Why must it be? Yeah, it would seem so. Hell! Man shrouded in darkness. I mean, pretty bright to me, but okay. Are these fucking ghost items again. I hate this shit. Alright. Bear with me as I spin the camera around like weirdo. So annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, right. The mouse actually just behaves that way. Cool. That's good to know for the future. God, let me grab it. Ah! <laughs> hey. I mean, we got it before. Why is it not letting me go out now? Dude. What the heck angle do you want me to photograph this stupid fucking item at? What the hell? Why is this a thing? I was just singing your praises game. Grr, I is rage. I is rage. It just doesn't need to be like this. Like, why? Why? Rawr. Let's move. And the controls kind of reverse while you're doing it as well, which is super fucking dumb. For real, fam. Come on. I have to photograph this item upside down. Like, what is happening? You know what? We're bailing on the item. Come on, kid. Get out of here. Nonsense. This is so dumb. Like, what angle do you want me to be at? I've tried every angle. What 
What the heck? I just can't photograph this thing. It did turn red before, like briefly. But now I can't seem to find it. <sighs> All right, for real though, what the heck? Is it glitching out or what? Well, I mean, even when it's not jank, I've done a full 360 of this item. How am I meant to find it? Like, how is it? If it isn't in human angle, then what do I do? Uh, I'm losing it. Out of my way. <laughs> what angle is this? I don't understand. Why did the controls reverse? Oh my god. Thanks for including one fucking puzzle that just makes this game impossible. nothing there's, there's no angle it's an impossible item never make me do that again game or i'm literally uninstalling you fucking hell that was dreadful i don't even want to read it fuck off Don't eat, eat the kid. <laughs> GG's rage, tentacle rage. Are you, are you chilling? What are you doing? I mean, you're hot girl, but back up. Take it. <laughs> Excellent photo. I'm stuck in a wall. I reckon we should have a smaller environment to fight her in. In my opinion, this is far too large. Hello? Take your time, it's all good. Melting away. Melting away, cool, gotcha. Oh, all right, I'll relax. That's so fucking annoying though. I think I know how to do it properly though now because I wasn't locking onto the item so when I was spinning the camera was just spinning all over the place but once you lock on you can kind of just spin it into position. It just took me a real long time to figure that out. 
So we probably won't have that issue again, honestly. Hey girl, didn't we just fight? We already played this game and we already danced before. Take it, take it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you trying to play? Oh, what the heck? Ow! Fucking ghosts everywhere in this fucking house. Are you dead? Come on. Come on, girl. Come at me. You can do it. I believe in you. Just attack me, fam. You know what? Whatever. Did she drop something? I think she did. What did you drop? What did you drop? What did you drop? Nothing. That's weird. According to the stories, after the landslide, the owner of the inn moved to the third floor. Who the heck is talking? They say he burned himself to death there, or that he. Where are you? I'm calling enough story. Tell me about it. Wait. What did it say? Check. Okay. Sensei. A num num num. A num num num, baby. Really? I'm sorry. Fuck yeah, sacred water. A num num num. A num num num. Kitty goes a num 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 as well. Nya nya. Nya nya nya. All this film. Give me all the film. The environmental design is really, really cool. Done an excellent job with this. Yep, that's not what I wanted you to do. Thank you. Dude, pick up the fucking item. Oh my god. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Where did you come from? Check a photo. Tilt the psychic photo. Why? Dumb. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb the dum dum. Oh yeah, another note. Um <laughs> work on you, I just saw that emote. Oh my gosh. That's one thing I didn't like about four and I wish they didn't keep it in. It's very annoying. It's not scary if you know it might happen, right? Like there's a fifty percent chance it seems to happen. So I'm sort of expecting it. 
Even before the landslide, there were always strange going-ons around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were lots of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away. A girl came back each year to look for her friend like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing over the years. We're all used to it by now. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist Kaiji Watarai. Next will be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will come looking for me. Uh, how do we get downstairs? I really need to figure out the quick turn in this game. Oh, it's not that way. Okay. There you go. The texture work in this game is really good too. Like, look at this shit. Look at it. Absorb the environment. Because it is super fucking cool. Taking photos identical to the psychic photographs taken with the camera obscura can break seals. Yeah, could you... Thank you. Is that not... to rotate shit again? Why? Ghost? Is it a ghost? It's a key. Yes, thank you, thank you. I know, I was just there. Nope, no time. Sorry, kid. You're on your own. No time, no time. What the fuck? Are you okay? Are you a ghost? Are you a villain? That's cool. I like all that. I really, really dislike how long the camera takes to reload. Like, it's it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come on, screw it. How'd you like that? You good? You good? You're not good. Why? Why can't I take photos? <laughs> Sorry, right, pose to the photos, fam. You good? Are you still not dead? Are you kidding me? Get out of here? Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Fuck no. It's enough of that. More notes. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. I suppose there was always a case. Mountain and death go together side by side. Get out of here. Mikamori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens, a sacred grove where the mountain maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, easing their passing to the other side. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Everyone's really depressed in this game. Rui, are you, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Ah, uh, hello. Oh. Uh, 
I have to go open this fucking door. Yeah, oh, okay, another ghost. How about that? Who would have expected it? Why is the door closing? I, I just opened you. Is probably an item here. You found a rock. Ah, oh, okay. Mirror stone. Is this a door? Why would you tell me that? It's like right there, fam. Come on. Come on now. Seated. Oh. Your sub badge didn't appear. Thank you for being a sub. <laughs> The sunset beckons, it's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. No, I had enough death. Just give me some items. Give me some items and a way out of this place. I guess we have to crawl through the window where the dead body was. Oh, there's a door right here. Never mind. <laughs> Man staring at something. Man might have left something behind. Looks like there was a fire. This must be where the innkeeper mowed. Oh, one of these puzzles. Excellent. <laughs> At least these are kind of... We've figured them out now. There we go. Okay, controller, could you stop fighting me? What the heck? It's so precise. Like, it's really silly that it's that precise. Yeah, I wasn't aware that you were a two-month subscriber, Death Tropes. I much appreciate it. It's so weird. I can't believe it's been, like... <laughs> oh. oh, right. Was it delayed? Finally, someone else who's okay. Really? Wow, that was so weird. That was a massive delay. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Kid, what are you doing? Kid, what are, you, what are you doing, kid? Don't do it, kid. Before you die, tell me your pronouns. Rescue. Really? What's right. wrong? Oh, okay. Uh, let's go quickly. But yeah, thank you so much for the sub. Is... Is, is something there? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, what, what are you? Ah! What are you doing? Non consensual. Try and make some distance so I can get time to reload. Alright. Now you can come at me. Now it gives me a shot. Oh, come on. 
The reload is dreadfully long. What are you doing? Why are you leaving? Hello? I love that the animations are literally like a rope swinging. That's super fucking cool. Could you attack me though? You know what? Here you go. Have some photos. Watch her attack me the instant I don't have film. Yeah, look at that. It's like programmed that way. I can upgrade the camera. Yeah, I just... So the previous games... Uh... In the previous games, each camera for each character was a separate upgrade, and to be honest, I don't want to waste my points on this dude. <laughs> I don't know if this game works the same way, though, because it is kind of a dumb mechanic. Could you just, like, what are you... What is this? Attack me! Yeah, it's really rad that you only wait to attack me with a zero shot when I don't have the ability to attack you back. It's super cool. Oh my gosh, look, look, just... Why? see the health, but you have to be locked on. I getcha. Oh shit, I might actually die. Look how much health I have. After the first game, they really took it to heart that people couldn't find health in, the, in that game. Could you just die, fam? Thank you. God damn it. What were you doing? But yes, thanks again for the sub. Could you remember anything? Much, much appreciate. Let's go home. Let's go home. Also, pronouns. You cannot leave the mountain. <gasps> she looks so fucking cool. I'm like in love with this character. Oh, what? No, I'm just gonna light a cigarette. Bam. Oh shit, she's dancing at me. Don't you hate when ghosts dance at you? Fuck. Whoa, fuck you right up, girl. Kiss. 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 She dancing. Really cool, I like her. Hey, wanna kiss? You're so hot. Alright, let's kill you. <laughs> She's got half health left. Attack me or something, Finn. Designed so that the things actually reabsorb into her before I have time to reload my camera. It's so dodgy. You okay? Are you okay? Oh, 
They'll just appear there or don't, you know? Hello? You know what? Here. Kind of feels like easy mode. What are you doing? How much health do you have left? Oh, okay, cool. I was wondering I couldn't, like, lock onto her. She's dancing, she's dancing. She's a good dancer. I'm a, I'm a fan of this character. What's this character's name? We're leaving. We're leaving. Is she connected to the note I found? There's a note here. Messy note boy. We, oh my god, six pages. The album of post-mortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. His name was Kiyoji Watarai. He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watari, sorry for murdering these names, collect post-mortem photographs from the nearby town. On Mount Hikami, water itself was deified. It seems like Watari wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up an inn. Oh my gosh, I just don't, I just don't care. I'm sorry. The photo album left behind by the innkeeper was put together by a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. As Ren and Ru explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost lured... Jesus, I cannot read. A ghost tried to lure Ru to suicide. Then, through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Ru left the mountain with more questions than when they started. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, we got an A. Heck yeah. Heck yes. So how many chapters does this game have, I wonder? Finally can have that cigarette. Interlude. With Hosoka still missing, Yuri recalls what she witnessed on the mountain, for Yuhi taking his own, her own life while entranced by the malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the pool of purification. These, these disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mr. Hikami houses some kind of horrifying secret. Sorry, Mountain Hikami. Yuri takes a camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hosoka. Gotcha. I understand. Suicide, huh? Suicide, huh? There's no body, right? Uh, and you said, what was it? Lots of women's bodies washed up afterwards. Didn't know you stream shot you a uh, follow as well. Yeah, she streams a lot on her channel, and we also stream together a bunch. Oh, well. I'll on both channels. Finally, back to one of our bikini-clad characters. I am a fan. This will make this game way less frustrating. Alright, over here. What is this? The only picture found from the camera obscure that shows anything. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. Uh, check, hey? Yeah, let me just check. It really does make it less fun. Yeah, it really does. It really, really, really does. Working in OBS and it popped up. <laughs> I love when you're like doing behind the scenes stuff where you're not actually live and you're in OBS and shit comes through. It's super cool. Hello? I'm trying. It wouldn't let me. Okay. She liked to sit at her desk to relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her de-stress. The Japanese style of her room? The whole place is Japanese. Like, what? This fucking radio, though.
what's going on with that radio? What the heck? Why are you making that noise? <laughs> yeah, what's going on with that radio? Okay, so under the bed. God damn, Harry. Let me out. That's cute. <laughs> it is so cool to see how like it's all developed though from the first game. Like I kind of want to play the first game again after I do all these just to see like compare it, you know. Uh, subject Akari Nar Narumi. Deceased, nothing I could do. Okay. I guess that's it in here. But yeah, I'm enjoying this one enough that this actually might surpass four for me. I guess we'll see though. Oh, it came this way. I might be being swayed by the bikinis though, not gonna lie. Anything in here? <laughs> oh, I want that CRT. I wish lockdown would go away so I could go hunting. I wanna hunt for shit. I wanna hunt for CRTs, I want VHS tapes. I want some PS2 games. Have I been in here? What's in here? Oh no, is this just the room we... Front of the store? No, we need the storeroom. Where? I guess I, I can just pick it up. All right, cool. <laughs> I thought it was one of those weird photo items. The draw in Ahsoka's desk. Yeah, it's a pretty small house. You don't, oh my gosh. All right. Uh, Miku Hinasaki. Disappeared searching for a missing brother, but was found. Mother of one, father unknown. That's the character from the first game, isn't it? Isn't that literally the the character that starts mother? So in my uh, canon, she died in three. Although I don't know if that was optional or if that always happens. Tendency to blame herself for strife with her half sister bears self inflated wounds. Strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Oh, that's the girl that literally kind of uh, killed herself. Yuri, emotionally unstable. Rah, rah, rah. Wait, isn't that me? Yeah, okay. But just look at that, like it's just such a gorgeous looking game. Uh, okay, so where was this room? I guess we could check the map quickly. It was here though, yeah? Or is this my room? I think this is my room, Never mind. How 
How do I get to the map? Oh, there is... I can't get to the map? Why would you mark it on the... Oh, I can. What the heck? Yeah, cool. So it's just through here. Haruka Mamosi, personal photo, client and subject used to be cafe regulars, a group suicide was reported at the time of disappearance, connection unknown, a quiet gentle girl, seemed keen to please others. And then Miu, so Miu was a daughter, <laughs> one one, I know, it's one one, but it's like in consecutive order, so 12 notes, one one. Uh, so this is a girl from the start of the game, Miku's daughter. When looking for a birth mother, missing since subject's childhood, uttered something about Mount Hikami, according to a talent agent, said to possess psychic powers, client is very worried. A photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is Miyu Hinasaki. Oh my gosh, dude. It was all a ruse. Kazuya Sakaki. Known to wander off, went incommunicado while gathering postmortem photographs for Ren, awaiting possible contact, gives a bad impression, seems quite unlike Ren. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. Oh my gosh, fam. Met with a potential client, doesn't know whether the subject is alive or dead, says she may have wandered off somewhere, maybe waiting for help. I tripped up, said something I shouldn't have, I asked what should do when we find her. She laughed and said when she gets back there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looked forced, she looked worn down by it all. I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose. I have to go. Okay. Head to Mount Hikami. That's kind of raining. Should I put something on? I wouldn't want to get wet. Uh, how do I leave? You don't want her to catch a cold, right? I think it goes through here. I can't remember. I hate how it like automatically throws me somewhere else. Like why why do that for? This one time I'll save you. Uh, using the camera obscura, Yuri found a number of missing person case files connected to Mount Hikami. She's now more determined than ever. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. I understand. Alright, and I think there we will quickly take another break. Uh, let me just mute this. And we'll also turn this on. Uh, where are we? Bam. And bam. So yeah, we'll take a quick break. Hope everyone is happy to chill for a sec as I have a bit of a stretch and potentially refill my coffee. Uh, let's see how much have I got. Baby, is there more coffee on the, on the thingy? <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll be back in three minutes. Enjoy our little hentai montage while I'm away. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon and we'll continue playing. Be right back.
What's up? Um, no. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. Uh, hang on. One second. Oh, I'm still shaking. Oh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's put the game back on. <laughs> Bam. And yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. And but yeah, thank you. Um, the Vero back screen is a work in everything in on Twitch is a work in progress, right? And I really love the iterative process of like slowly adding things to make it more your own and customizing it all. And yeah, it's one of the parts I really, really like about streaming. So I spent a lot of time on it, to be honest. I uh, I'm looking forward to adding more stuff. To But first, I'm, I want to add more stuff to the avatar, so it's just... Oh, I just need more time. Give me more time. Find Haruka Mimosi. So it says episode percent, 20%. So it seems like it's a fairly decently... Decently long game. Um, should we buy anything? I'm not sure if the points are shared amongst the camera stuff as well. I can't remember. I'll have to have a look now. Oh, I always forget. There we go. After finding a missing person's file on Hisoka's desk, Yuri realizes Hisoka had been looking for Haruka Mimosa. Mimosi, sorry. <laughs> she recalls what... For you, he said, when they passed the Shrine of Dolls. Haruka, she's here. With this in mind, Yuri heads to the Shrine of Dolls. Alright, cool. We got it. Head to the Shrine of Dolls. Understood. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I love that rat jam so much. Rat jam is my favorite. I mean, I also like the Ahagala ones though. And I like that the thing, because they've got their weird cap, uh, weird case sensitive commands, other ones pop up when I click it, because there's three custom Ahagala ones. Uh, I'm stuck in a rock. Why? What is this sound? Where? Oh, hello. There's a lot of ghosts in this game. Would you like to attack me, sir? I think you would. Feels like you're kind of leaning in that direction. You want to just do it, or...? No? Oh, I forgot that this one doesn't have like the multi shot. Whoops! Get off me, dude! I kind of miss that multi shot now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and we said we're gonna check if we can upgrade our camera. It's so important. I can't move back. Where? Where? Oh my god. Alright, I put the smoke down. We good, we good. Let me just turn around and I'll send this motherfucker to the Shadow Realm. If she can turn. Can you turn? Thank you. You lock in on him and he says, help. See, it's so annoying that they wait for you to actually reload. Like, I get it, but... Come on, dude, just fucking go for it.
and stay out. All right, let's uh, let's check the camera upgrades. If I can remember the button. All right, so yeah, the points are shared in this, which makes a lot more sense. They should have done that in four and w four as well, honestly. Uh, so we have attack distance, uh, upload time, upgrade, um, reload time, damage, and spirit power. Okay, so obviously we're going for this one. And then maybe... Damage? Or should we just wait and get 100,000 and do the loader again? I kind of feel like we should do that. I definitely want super fast reloads. I'm happy to wait for damage and stuff. It's no big deal. Wait, where did you take me? Yeah, but are y'all digging this fatal frame as much as me? How do we feel about this one so far? I went to Santa Water. Should I press on or go back? This is a point of no return. I want to see for you here again. At least for those who haven't played this. I'm sorry, did something happen? I was kind of focusing on something else. I was focusing on the plot. Oh, don't fall. It's pretty cool so far? Yeah. There are some control issues, but other than that... <laughs> yes, the plot. It's just a really cute outfit. I just can't look... I can't stop looking at it. The lace, like the little... I don't know what you call that, a, an arm garter? Like what is that? What is that called? Arder. Ara ara. <clears throat> Garter, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of I don't know. Usually they're used specifically for. Is it a ghost? No. Yeah. Okay. All right, where are we going? This way? Wistful Shrine, Maiden. God, can you, can you imagine the mods we're gonna get for this game? Because I can kind of imagine them and I'm fairly excited. <laughs> I came here because of the sunset. It was so beautiful it made me want to cry. It was the same as the sunset I saw when I survived. The sun seemed to sink into the mountain and I had to come and see it. It's going to be great. <laughs> Melting away into the waters of the mountain seems natural. It seems right. I feel like the others are telling me to, the ones who didn't survive. The sunset is drawing closer and maybe I'm drawn to it. Oh, hello. Y'all look rad. Are you okay? What are you doing? Whoa! God, that reload time really helps. Off me! Off me! God damn it! Oh my god, so frustrating. Get off me, fam. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They're both on me. The heck? Being fucking gang banged. Did I use it? What happened there? I may have used the wrong item. Could you just. I, I would like to be able to see. Thank you. What? What? Give me some fucking room. 
Come on, this is really silly. How, fam? That was ridiculous. Are they still around? There was, like, there was like no time to like dodge them while they're instantly grappling you from a teleport. Like that was, that was some bullshit. Let's jump off a cliff. And here you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's a shrine road wiped out. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, what the heck? Where? What is happening? What are you doing? Bam. Are you okay? Whoa. Whoa. It didn't count, apparently. It should have. So she's in a loop? dress come here I just thought that was a cool photo no <laughs> get that lover I understand what these battles are gonna be like music music I on you. <laughs> what is this icon? Make up your mind. Where are you? Oh, she was in a rock. Of course. I can't log on, lock on to her. It's really strange. Indeedy. Attack me, go on, go on, do it. Oh my gosh, who are you attacking? I'm not over there. This is super annoying. Come on, get up. Waiting for ghost animations, a game. All right, and we are done. How you doing, Melon Deity? I am doing well. Is she still alive? Are you kidding me? Okay, she's not. We're good, we're good. Some of the ghost battles in this have been real bullshit so far. Let's just zoom through. Zoom zoom. We zoom in, we zoom in. 
Look at my follower account in the corner there. Because of stupid fucking butts. Stupid fucking butts. And assist. Uh, all right, so we have to go through this whole area again, and there's items everywhere again. Because we played this area as her, right? Or did we play as the other girl? I don't remember. It was definitely as her, wasn't it? Where did all these new items come from? I was here literally like five seconds ago. Alright, cutscene, heck yeah. Give me some chance give me a chance to have a puff. Hey Oscar, how you doing? It's a hanging tree, I guess. It certainly looks nice like to it. see you. This is where. Huh? I'm doing pretty well, digging Beta Rain 5 so far. I like whatever the fuck I'm seeing here. Blood, blood, blood. Oh no. Alright, cigarette goes down. God damn it. Where? Oh, hello. What? Where are you? F what are you wearing? Are you gonna attack me or what? Are we just gonna dance around each other? Hello? Sir? Understand. I do not understand. Where are you? He was hiding. Motherfucker was hiding. Do it or don't. Do it or don't. Yeah, systems on the Wii U. We are getting a port um, on PC and Switch. Mm, September, October, next month, so... But apparently we're not getting the bikinis in the European version either. That's awesome. Where... Oh, you're hiding again? Gotcha. Let me reload. It's got so much fucking health. Ow. Could you... Thank you. The, the claw motion I have to do to fight in this game is I don't know the level. Could you do something, dude? Hello? I'm like inside you. Could you attack? Attack immediately when I don't have film. That's excellent. Thank you. It's got so much health too. Let's just switch to a stronger film. What? Switching film makes you reload? Oh, of course that makes sense though, I guess. That is annoying. attack me that would be fucking amazing you know what 
Whatever. See you later. If you don't want to attack me, I'm not going to fight you. Who gives a shit? Let's move on. See ya. Catch you later. Have a good one. Bye. Where? Hello. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Who designed this shit? Come on, fam. Waiting for a 90 second or 100 second idle animation before he attacks again is just fucking dumb. Come on. These games really just don't care about padding sometimes. Give me a sec, give me a sec, dude. Give me a sec, dude. God damn it. Where are you going? Why are you running? One second. Dude refuses to die. I think he's dead. I can give you a bit of a tentacle wave now. How are you, Demon of the Northern Point? Here, yeah, we'll give you some some lovely tentacle waving. Yeah. It's nice to see you. Are you having a good good day, night, evening, wherever you are? That was a bullshit battle. Yet yeah, another bullshit battle. It's like the second or third one in a row. Okay. <laughs> Wiggly bastards, how dare you? The fight continues. Really? Uh, okay, what time is it? Let's see. Or... So we'll try and make it a five hour then. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. I'm guessing you're digging, digging the game, Mina. It's not too late for you. Well. My tentacles are very friendly. I mean, occasionally they need feeding, you know, how it goes with tentacles, but otherwise they're, they're very well behaved. <laughs> there is more coffee. I just love this environment so much. I want to get lost here myself. Can I have that, please? Dude. <laughs> Fucking make your trigger box slightly bigger. God damn. I didn't read what it said. I just thought, yay, fight goes on. Starting to get tired. <laughs> you should read the. You should definitely read things before you click them. 6.25 a.m. Damn. Girl. I don't know how you do it. I couldn't stay up till 6 a.m. Not unless I slept the whole next day, you know. 
Uh, oh, another item. Thank you, thank you. Puppy MVP. True that though. Oh, I think I just used my like really expensive film. My bad. Fight goes on. Oh no, I didn't. Cool. We're good. We're good. I don't like coffee. <laughs> but here for you guys. Oh, what about what about coffee don't you like? I know it's a preference thing, I'm just wondering. <laughs> I had coffee when I was really, really young. Uh, my mum didn't like me having it. And uh, my grandmother used to give it to me when I would stay at her house. As like a secret treat. And so I think I've been addicted to caffeine since I was like 10 or some shit. Probably younger, 8 or something. Or maybe not addicted, but I definitely like the taste of it. I don't like the taste, also no beer and wine. Someone said I don't like bitter stuff, and yeah, kinda. Okay, fair enough. You can make coffee pretty sweet, especially if you have like a mocha with some sugar in it. Yeah, lots of milk and sugar. All right, let's look at the map. <laughs> Where the fuck is it taking me? How do I zoom out? Am I not able to? Is that where I'm going or am I going up here? I don't remember. Maybe once a year if at all. Yeah, fair enough. I think if you, if it's not really your thing. So what is your beverage of choice? That's an excellent mechanic. Thank you, game. Oh, not that fucking dude again. Man gouging out eyes. I have to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Kind of annoying. Hello? Okay. Iced tea. I like Arizona, but most of the time I get cheap one because I can't afford it. That's fair, yeah. Arizona iced tea. I don't know actually what the brand Arizona is. We have like Lipton iced tea down here and it's like four or five dollars a bottle. That's like 600 mil. <laughs> But the iced tea you can buy like that, it's so, it's full of so much sugar. It doesn't taste like homemade iced tea at all, really. Oh, Lipton is good. Oh, yeah, you have Lipton. Cool, cool. Is it similar to Arizona? What's the difference there? Also, wasn't I just in a slightly different area? What the hell? Oh, no. Okay. Is there another item? Oh, there it is. Trigger boxes, trigger boxes, fam. Who is leaving all these items all over the fucking forest? Can I go through? I don't think I can go through here anyway. Yeah. All right, it wants us to go into the, uh, into that building, right? What the heck? Dude, get the crotch out of my way. 
got items to find. The random fucking collisions in some areas and not in others. I mean, I guess in the end it is just a bunch of corridors that are painted to look like an open area, but still. It's like cola and Pepsi, they're both Coke patisse. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. I find that Pepsi is sweeter to my taste buds. Like sometimes too sweet. Uh, now, have we been in here before? I don't remember. Or do we always like get shooed away? Oh, hello. Are you a statue or are you chilling? What is this? What is happening here? Hello? Is it a mannequin? more creepy motherfuckers whoa I hate those I'm gonna be telling them that in uh, in four Dr. Pepper is too sweet for me that's interesting because I find like Pepsi is to me sweeter than Dr. Pepper uh, it's a different kind of flavor though right Did I just come in here, or I'm already confused? I mean, to be honest, dolls like this scattered around the house, creepy as hell. I'm right there with you. Yeah, kick it down the stairs, fam. I like that it's used to block an area I could just walk over. It'd be like 25 years ago. Wow, it's a really long time not to have Pepsi. Because some restaurants just give you Pepsi, right? You ask for cola and they give you Pepsi. No Alright, creepy kid. I didn't know that was the way out. Just give me, give me a second. Okay, so it's definitely through this door. Wait, no it's not. Must be the other door. Must be on drugs. What? Can I photograph it? Maybe if the photograph a specific doll hasn't really been. Hmm. Oh, there's another door here. Oh, this is the way out. Yeah. Hang on. I am confusion. I am confusion. This is a door with the stairs that I can't get down, right? Maybe I have to photograph the door on the stairs? Oh, there's water down there anyway. Oh, there's a door there. God damn, I didn't see that. Hello. Hello, door. One time I see. Oh, you led to another creepy ass room. Excellent. Uh, to be honest though, I don't really drink a lot of a lot of coke or soda or anything. I have energy drinks, but other than that. Was that Haruka? Oh, 
Ooh, a trap door. Don't you open that trap door. Because there's something down there. Uh, when I... <gasps> When I had cooking the last time, it was cola or mixed cola oh, no. with fan Coke and Fanta, really? That's uh, blasphemous to me. Either. You don't mix sodas. I, I, Is it nice? Oh, you wanna go down <laughs> well, obviously there? not if it hasn't been, if you didn't drink it for another I 25 years. Tried Coke and Fanta and you're like, yeah, I'm good on soda for 25 years. This is a cool little character. I like this. The porcelain skin and stuff. This is you. This is it's you on effigy. drugs. Find me if you can. It's a ready mix when you buy it called Mezzo Mix. Oh, I don't. I've never heard of that before in my life. That's interesting. I think we're gonna have to like hunt down some children. You know how it goes. Uh, where does it want me to... Oh, here? Let me guess, it's one of those stupid fucking... Things. It sure is. What am I looking at? A doll in water or something? A person hanging from a tree. That isn't at all what I saw, but cool. Some notes. Give me some notes. Yeah, maybe I'm just sheltered. I haven't heard of that before. A note here written in small writing. It looks like Haruka must have come here. Ever since we survived, I felt like every day could be my last. I feel closer to Fuyuhi than ever. It's nice sharing secrets with her, sharing my guilt. We often talk about the past. I remember a lot of things from back then. Like how her face was the first picture I drew in kindergarten. We split the sheet of paper and drew each other. I remember growing taller than her and how she stayed at my home while hers was being renovated. We often talk about that kind of stuff. Most of all, I remember singing the song of memories at kindergarten graduation. I looked over for you here and she was already looking at me waving. Aw, they is in love. Whenever I hear that song, it makes me want to go back there to that time. My whole life has been flashing before in my eyes. Of all the moments, that's the one I want to keep on living over and over. Forever. That's cute. I'm about to have some sweet tea mixed with rum. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, sea lion. What's good? How are you? How goes the journey we call life? The crush lens. Cool. Here from Wiki. <laughs> Mesomix, official notation Mesomix, is a product of the Coca Cola Company, first introduced in Germany in 73. It's a mixture of orange and cola, a beverage popular in German-speaking countries commonly known there as Spezi, the generic trademark of the first brand of that type of soda. That's super interesting. It's odd that, like, I don't think we've ever had that released in Australia. Uh, are we good in this room? I think we're good. I want some some something mixed with rum. That sounds really good. Where are you, you creepy ass kid? I'm coming for you. Waiting for the drop. No, no, there is no, there is no going home, going home, no, no, there is no, there is no going home, going home. I'm gonna still call you Bloody Mina because it's cool. <laughs> 
A store land. Use it to equip your camera obscure and press R when you have enough spirit power. You know what? Let's quickly have a look at what... Where's my menu? Let's have a quick look at what R is so I can figure out how to use the powers. I feel like it will make my life a lot fucking easier. Input settings. R is map to R. Who would have thunk it? This time I meant lion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is that a snake? Um... Is, is what a snake? You mean my lovely tentacle friend? You always call my tentacle friend a snake? Sometimes I take snake-like appearance. No, no. There is no, there is no going home, going home. It's a snake. Oh, a snake. Snake, dun 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 Wrong kind of snake I was thinking of. There is no, there is no going home, going home. No, no, there is no, there is no going home, going home. Give me that moonstone. Ara ara. I was playing a little corpse party while watching you and there were tentacles and I thought Riot would love that. <laughs> I certainly would. Actually, so corpse party, I realized I haven't actually played it. And I looked it up on Steam and I read about it and the Steam version apparently is the original creator's uh, version but the one that everyone says is the better one to play is the one they made on PSP. So I actually downloaded the PSP emulator and I can pretty much play it at any point. I tried it a little bit, it seems pretty cool. So if y'all would want me to see, want to see me play some Corpse Party, I can definitely arrange that. Are you just chilling or... Hello? So hot girl. Wet and covered in hair and... Mm. Hello. Where are you, where are you going? Oh. Um, hello? She wanted to go down. There is no, there is no going home, going home. Corpse party is welcomed, yeah? I wasn't sure how y'all would feel about like an RPG maker style game. Nice, I got the stream version, the Steam version of the first one. I think I'm playing the third one right now. I don't know the second. Yeah, so apparently, um, the series, so the original creator made the one on Steam, but then the series that continues after that is all con a continuation of the PSP version, and the original creator is actually working on, or di was working on part two, but it has never been released. Or like one chapter of it got released or something. I'm not that knowledgeable on it, but yeah, it was kind of an interesting story, honestly. It got licensed to a company, and then they just kind of took over with the story. I love all of this. I love a little bikini-clad heroine here. I like her outfit. I like the little creepy place her in. I love her ridiculous walk through the water. I am a T-Rex. Rawr. 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 I'm coming to get ya. Um, oh, okay. I think Book of Shadows is the second because uh, in the one I'm playing right now, they're talking about things like the Book of Shadows and stuff that didn't happen in the first one. Rawr. It's a kitty mode. Yeah, I don't know the exact order, but I know that, like, the first game and the second game... The second game hasn't really been finished by the original creator, but Book of Shadows, I think, is the in the, uh, the PSP series. I'm kind of keen to, to play them, though. They look really cute. The style looks cute. Have you all seen uh, an anime called Other? Oh, sorry, Another? Because I was wondering if there was a game version of that. Because I really like that show. Uh, let's heal. There is no, there is no going home, going home. Uh, where am I supposed to go? 
door is closed. It's being held by a powerful force. Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. There you go. Uh, God, where is that from? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And I know another girl with eye patches. Yeah, exactly. That's it. I thought there might be a game based on that too. I think there are a lot of like RPG maker anime style games I'd love to play. So apparently there's something down here, I guess, that unlocks the door. Oh, did I check out that very clearly lit area there? I didn't think I did. Oh, nothing there? Really? That's weird. Uh, I think another also has an in real life RL movie. Really? Do we know if it's good? Where am I supposed to be going, fam? Look for the effigy, match the photo. Uh, okay, which photo? My bad, I forgot that's what we're doing. <laughs> I guess it's not in this area. Uh, camera items records, probably there. Where is the photo? Oh, I would be here somewhere, right? No, it's not. Well, I need the photo to match it. Where, where is it? What the fuck? Oh, maybe it's this? Oh no, it's not this either. What the heck? Alright, I guess we just need to look for a, a doll that looks kind of out of place. These all look kind of the same. Hmm. Hopefully it will actually cause the camera to react. It was kind of a shabby looking doll from memory, wasn't it? It was like a... No, it's definitely not down here, right? Oh my gosh, girl, could you please turn around? Do we think it's down here? Because I can't see any doll that looks like the one that she showed me. From memory, it was like a shabby gray doll. It'd be so helpful if I didn't have to kind of walk through this fucking water. You'd think I'd be down here though, because I've stuck so many dolls everywhere. Could this be more creepy? I think I, I would have to agree with you now, at this point. I legit don't know. Alright, let's uh, let's go back upstairs. Maybe it was somewhere upstairs and I didn't see it. Go girl. 
Not like this. No, if we're going down, we're going down looking super pretty. Uh, so there's nothing down here, right? Oh, it's a random door. There is no, there is no going home, going home. No, no, there is no, there is no. Have I been here? I don't think I have. Um, you okay? the note. Give it to me. Give it to me. I decided to conduct a memorial ritual of ascending of sending a doll down river as it described in Mi Mount Hikami folklore. Here in the mountain, the flowing waters have long been deified. Life springs from the water then returns to it. All of the bones in the cave beneath the shrine have been laid into the waters. This was probably considered to be a way of returning life to the water. The shrine was built upon the pure water river with a walkway crossing it. I have found numerous dolls at the bottom of the river and downstream. These dolls were likely placed on the water as a form of memorial for those they depicted. There is no, there is no going home, going home. Uh, sir? Masked man, that's a hell of a mask. Alright, it's probably in here, right? Uh... I can see the white base of a large door behind the blinds. That must be the main shrine. Rawr! Rawr! I can't go towards the camera, it won't let me. Uh, I can't go that way. The door over there, though. Can I just climb up? No. Oh, right, I can't because I'm rawr. Tell what I'm looking at there. Oh, it's behind the doll. Gotcha. Hi. Oh shit! That is creepy as heck. Oh, that's it. It's just a little spooky. Can't cause I roar. <laughs> Oh yeah, and by the way, there's this quote thing now. Quote. <laughs> I'm here. They're here. Super weird and creepy. <gasps> God damn it. Look at me. What the heck? Did you see that? I see you fucking fucking Spooky ass ghost. Check. Ooh, where are we? Freedom. Wow, 
look at that shit. Dude. That's fucking creepy. Alright. Uh, we can just go around there, right? So we can get to the... that statue. Talk about confusing fucking architecture. Okay, I'll get comfy now, but I can't say if I fall asleep or not. Oh, it's all good. If you fall asleep, I understand. It is very, very late slash early for you. <clears throat> so I hope you have a good rest if you do sleep. It's kind of a confusing area, honestly. Uh, let's go through here, I guess. I'm outdoors again. Oh, this must be the door I literally just came in. What's that? Something going on back there. Oh, it's an item. It is, and you have a nice day in case you fall asleep. No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me in. So from what I understood reading a little bit about the development of this game, it's basically a whole new studio. Well, not a whole new studio, same studio, but a whole new team. Like very few people who are involved in the old games are involved in the making of this one. And they've managed to keep the tone of it very similar, if not better, honestly. Having set a ban of many years, the Shrine of Dolls has now undergone significant rest reconstruction. In the past, local legends tell that the Shrine used so-called effigies as offerings. These effigies are likely the old dolls that were found inside. The road to the Shrine was improved and so the number of visitors gradually increased. There was no end to the visitors, bringing their own dolls to add to those left outside. Assuming this practice to be harmless, no effort has been made to prevent it. As we were repairing the old dolls, we learned that each of them is engraved with a name. We also found tiny teeth, bones, and small bundles of hair tucked away inside. Were they keepsakes, or perhaps something more? The purpose of the shrine has since become clear. It appears these dolls were believed to contain the souls of deceased children, and were likely offered to the shrine as some kind of ritual. We also learned of a cave below the shrine known as the Womb Cavern. Okay. It is housed several human remains. Perhaps initially it was not dolls offered up at the shrine, but people. It seems the cavern may be where the bodies were disposed. We are considering renovating the cavern into storage space. <laughs> Placing the bones into dolls of their own and holding a joint memorial service for them. Don't build over burial grounds. Haven't you seen horror movies? God damn it. So cheap. Stop it. Stop it. Eyeballs. Love me some eyeballs. I've been having these kind of dreams, those dreams again, where I'm playing with the kids. I started looking forward to playing with them. Sometimes I don't even want to wake up. I looked into it and the games we've been playing actually used to exist. One is called Spirited Away. Everyone hides each other's dolls and whoever finds the last is Spirited Away. That is, they go out of the game. Wooden dolls were usually used made from the sticks of trees on the mountain. The next game was called Ghost Marriage. Everyone hides their dolls except one person called the Outsider. That person then chooses a partner of the opposite sex and searches for their doll. It's a bit like hide and seek, only the owner of a doll that's found is said to be bound that is married to the Outsider. However, if the Outsider finds the wrong doll and the owner of that doll becomes the Outsider instead. My theory is that these games are based on actual rituals that take place on the mountain. Very hetero though. In my dreams, these games go on until the children disappear into the mist. I literally can't even see what I'm looking at. What the heck is that? Okay, less creepy than I thought. Look. Fuck. Um, did I open these? 
I do not know. All right, let's get powerful force. I'll show you a powerful force. Uh, okay, so... What the fuck? How do I get... Is that where I'm meant to go? There? Oh, but I can't. Maybe this way? I'm kind of confused. Because I need to get to that shrine area, right? But I'm also looking for that fucking doll. <laughs> Where was it that sound? Whoosh, whoosh. Alright, well, that's a hell of a little room. She said she saw the doll though, and it was like in this section, basically. Oh, I can't move around here. But in that little watery section next to it there, where the stage is. Which means I have to be able to go there. It looks like I can go there from outside, possibly. Um, but I can see a way there. Unless... We go through this door. And then through here, and then go <clears throat> around to the right, maybe? Oh, that's not a fucking door outside. Lies. Why do you start so far away? Hmm. Well, it's not in here either. Okay, how the heck do I get there? So confused. Um... Have I been through this door? Oh, it won't open. That's a no. Maybe we should explore this little area here. Seems to be kind of important. What's it pointing me at? Seriously though, how fucking creepy is this? Super cool. I don't know where that thing wants me to look at though. Proceed. Oh, okay. So I guess there's literally nothing here? There's something here. Game, what the fuck do you want me to look at? Do not understand. What do you think it's trying to tell me? Doesn't make much sense. But I hear something. I took a lovely dirt nap. Hope you're feeling good. Maybe brush yourself off now if you're covered in dirt. Seriously though, sometimes I think digging a hole and just chilling out in some dirt would sound like a good idea. A fun little way to pass some time. I, uh, I don't know what to do, where to go. I'm currently kind of lost. There's a thing that's guiding me here, but I can't see where it's guiding me. That's not cool. Alright, let's look at the map. Uh, 
You were just backtracking now. Alright, we got some film from that, thank you. I don't know how I missed that last time. Uh, wasn't there a door there? Oh, okay. Uh, what time is it for you, Skull Baby? Go, baby. It's a fun name to say. <laughs> PM? Oh yeah, cool. 10 p.m. is not too bad. See, we're back in this room now. It's uh 3 or 6 p.m. where I am currently. Back in this room, but so here's the thing. We need to get over there. But there seems to be no way to get there. There's those stairs though, but that door over there to the, to the right of it, I couldn't use it. I laid on my floor <clears throat> and feel asleep like the dead. Um, my mom used to call them dirt naps because um, she could cover me in dirt and I would still sleep. <laughs> it's cute. Oh no! It's alright, they uh, they chill out pretty quickly. So you just like basically collapse onto the ground and nap wherever you are. <laughs> it's cute. I'm gonna nap right here. Oh no no, it's all good. I mean, I fucking suck at reading. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can't, like, now what? Now what, game? <laughs> now what? Unless I go, okay, maybe if I... I legit don't know. I legit do not know. Could the trigger for the door just be jank? Which door? It's nice you're starting to understand me though. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, the more I interact with y'all, the more I like get you, you know? Maybe we'll go this way. Maybe this is the way. <laughs> See, that's not a jank door. That's just literally, literally I can't get in, right? The door is being held shut by powerful force. Yeah, they have, like, actual... Well, alright, if you're here, then show me where to fucking go, kid. Unless now I can go in here? No. Yeah, we've definitely been in this area. See, now we're just going back. Oh, wow, you can actually move around while you're in this area. This, uh, screen. There's gotta be a way through here. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. I'm just failing. So we can't go through this door. And then this leads to that little patio area. What if we go on the other side? Maybe I didn't do this. Oh, I definitely haven't been in here. <laughs> Don't scare me. You're fine, embers and some creepy dolls. Alright, I guess we'll just go through again and see if maybe I missed something, because it has to be through here somewhere. So it's through these doors. Oh no, sorry. Around. And then you're led to this area here where it tells you you have to get back there. 
So now I can go left or right, but right doesn't let me through. Oh no, right is just a storage room. So left it has to be. That's a process of elimination, this. Hmm. Nya nya. Nya. Ara ara. Then we had that creepy ass doll. And then we had a battle here. Alright, so there's only one door now. We have to go through this door here. And that leads me... Okay. Sorry, I just want to figure out this little puzzle. Because so far the game has done a pretty good job of keeping me... filled in, but... I'm kind of lost with this one. So it takes me out here, then I go around. There is some sort of trigger here I can't get, so this trigger might be jank for sure. I can't find where this wants me to look at. See, what the fuck was that? What the fuck is this sound? What? What is happening? I don't understand. I do not understand. Is that the door? And I just can't trigger it? These Japanese houses are so complex. I mean, they're built this way in the game, right? Obviously in real life, I doubt there would be. I mean, maybe, who knows? But it just feels like it's a game design thing rather than... Seriously, what the heck is with this trigger? I cannot figure out... So do we think this is unrelated or this is what I need to do? Because I can't fucking do it. Like where do you want me to do it? See, the frame does glow sometimes, but I don't know if it's related or not. So annoying, fam. Do you think it's one of those like I have to spin the camera things? I I just don't know. I really don't know. This doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be spinning so much. I'm just trying to default it. All right, there we go. Like, this is the busted trigger if I've ever seen one. I can't... I just can't get it to work. So I really hope this is just some bullshit thing that I don't have to worry about. My dream goal is to get an old Japanese house and renovate it or even build one. That'd be so fucking cool. Absolutely. Uh, do you mean, like, actually, so, like, move to Japan? Because you don't live in Japan, do you? I believe I would know that if you did. The arrow is confusing too. Was it pointing or was it showing you what up was? Yeah, I have no idea. I would absolutely move. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I think I would, I would probably love to live in Japan for a little while too. I okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. 
I can't get through this door. Uh, so it has to be this way. It has to be through here. If I don't, if I can't figure this out, like in this area, I'm, I'm stumped. I'm really stumped. Oh, did I try this, this thing here? Yeah, I did. Okay, I've been in here. See, I'm at a dead end. Dead end, 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 dead end. Hmm. I feel like I can appreciate history in other places more than the US. Whenever a, uh, a geek about buildings in the US, it's always on the East Coast. I really do have a thing for like southern houses and those big ass fucking farm houses and stuff. They look so cool. I know the history fucking sucks, but the architecture is really, really cool. I, I can't figure this out. I think I'm gonna have to Google it. I have to. I don't know what else I'm meant to do here. Uh, we're probably due for a break anyway. Oh, wait, are we? I can't remember when my last break was. Because I kind of want to play a little bit longer. I at least want to finish this little area here, right? Tentacle wave. Tentacle wave. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, there are some classic graveyards that are gorgeous too. Oh, I love a good graveyard for sure. Uh, okay, so I will push this away. And... I'm probably going to go and break and also use it as a chance to... Actually, I might do that kind of now. Additional permissions needed? What do you mean? Uh, what would I type in? Mask of Black... No, what is it? What is this game called? Uh, Black Maiden. Walkthrough. Hey, Death Trope, you still chillin'? Can you tell what I'm supposed to do? Because I sure as fuck can't. They wrap around porches and a detail to the building. Yeah, so you know the skeleton key? It's a movie with like... Oh, what's her name? Goldie Hawn's daughter. It just looks so cool. The, 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 uh, the actual house itself. I love it. In the game, I don't. Yeah, neither do I. I'm so confused. Oh, I hate when walkthroughs are just video walkthroughs. Just give me the whole fucking walkthrough. Give me written walkthrough. Wow, what the heck? Are there no walkthroughs for this? Just relaxing. Uh... Hello, Google, can I have a walkthrough? Literally no walkthroughs. What the heck? How could a game not have walkthroughs? I am confusion. Confusion. So I am confusion. All right, I'm going to have a quick break. Don't nobody go nowhere. As you know, we play, uh, we have a quick break so we can prevent pre-rolls on new people coming in. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a moment and we will continue to try and sort this out together. See you soon.
Hentai. Hentai. Okay, so I think I have a rough idea now. I, I did look, I was trying to find a walkthrough, but I couldn't fucking find one. So I, t I looked in one of the videos and when they were outdoors, I actually did manage to trigger something. So I'm going to go back there and check if I can trigger that. Uh, so let's quickly jump back in because I kind of want to, I want to get some progress here. Give me some progress, fam. Give me that progress. But uh, I'll give you a bit of a tentacle wave first. All oh, the tentacles. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Freda. My tentacles welcome you. Or just say hello in general, because you've been around. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's uh, let's jump in and see what we can do here. Oh, we need some sound, don't we? Otherwise, all you can hear is like the slapping of tentacles beneath me. Uh, so how do we get out of here? I'd like to see the map, please. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we go out here and then we go basically in this area here. So, cool. Let's try it. I love that the stickers say gently. <laughs> gently place. Why can't you run? Go. Go, girl. You can run. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Cause if your friends don't dance and if they don't dance and they're no friends of mine. S S S S A A A A F F F F T T T T. Ah, uh, so in the video they um they turned this around. Oh my gosh. It basically spun it like that. This doesn't work. I don't know what will. It's literally what they did in the... Oh! What the... What am I looking at here? Why can't I do this? Why doesn't it work, fam? I'm getting really, really dodgy fucking triggers here and I don't know how to fix it. Let me watch that fucking video again. <laughs> So we have seen that weird trigger before, but I can't get it to re-emerge. There we go. Now I spin it. annoying was all that <laughs> why is that so difficult what the hell is going on with that little area something fell into the bushes cool this better be progress progress fell into the bushes heck yeah it is progress Are you enemies let's keep dress Hello. Why can't I take photos? Uh, let's get some let's get some distance here. Oh, he's still coming. Please. I like y'all just chilling out. Very nice. Oh, did I miss that one? Oh, hello. This is super cool. 
Ever want to just beat the shit out of ghost children? This game gives you that ability. Actually, all the beta frames kind of have. There's children in all of them. They're completely non-hostile. Well, I mean, they, they do hurt me sometimes. Most of the time, they don't. Ghost children are the worst. <laughs> From personal experience, Fenner. I miss that. Boo. We have to do this. Okay. Finally. Come on now, hurry up. Almost as bad as real children. <laughs> They're super happy. I don't know why I'm attacking them. You see children have to attack, I guess? Or... Right in the face. Right in the face. Where's the other one? What? No, come back. Stop running. <laughs> Did I hit another ghost when I did that? Uh oh. How much health do you have, child? Are you good? Alright, I think we're good. I didn't ask for the map. What are you doing? Okay, it wants us to go all the way back. Alright, ghost children vanquished. I feel pretty good about myself. you mean? Sorry for the cursor. Does that mean we can go this way now? Well, what the heck? I have to backtrack? I... Screw you, kid. Maybe this door opens now. Hey, progress. Love me some progress. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Rawr. Rawr. Hello, sir. You seem confused. I am here to vanquish you. Ah, oh, no, wait. <laughs> hey, that worked. Oh, he's not into it. Don't you hate when they're not into it? Alright, see you later, dude. Rawr. Back to T Rex times. Rawr. Rawr. Who dares face Bikini Girl? Roar. What is her name again? Does it say in the menu? It's Yuri, right? Roar. Where? Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. Why can't I look onto you? 
can't. Oh my gosh. Run. Oh my god. I took a really nice photo of you, boobs. Come on, chill out. Not do whatever you're doing. Okay. This game is sick. Yeah, it's super cool. How are you, bad vibes? Nice to see you. The sound design is excellent. Howdy, howdy. I'm melting. Could you move? Rawr. I always wanted to play this game. I heard it's pretty scary. Um, it's it's very good so far, that's for sure. I can, it's hard for me to comment on game scariness. But the atmosphere is certainly super creepy and ambient. The sound design is amazing. Look at these creepy ass dolls everywhere. Where are you? Did I kill you? Is she dead? She dead. Look at her face. I think she's gone. I think we're good. We can return to being a T-Rex. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. Let's hope. Either that or I'm not going the right way. Could be either one. <laughs> Rawr. Yeah, the ghosts in this game are really, really cool so far. I've really, I've really uh, enjoyed it. Well, some of the mechanics are a bit odd though, or awkward, the way that the ghosts behave, like their animation behavior. But otherwise... Is this the way I just came? Oh no, cool, we're in the right place, excellent. Oh yeah, progress. Give me that progress. Give me that sweet, sweet progress. While I trick water over these hardwood floors. Give me a little bit of a butt jiggle. Alright, let's go. The girl is sitting in the middle of the doll display. I should try placing the doll there. Stay until you feel like dying. <laughs> this battle might be the intro for this game is so good. What was the intro? I don't remember. No, 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 no. no. God damn it. I wonder if I can upgrade my reload again. The reload in this game is fucking dreadful. Let's use one of these. Excellent. I need some room. Where is the other one? Oh, there it is. Go. Hate when they do shit like that. Why do you sound like gin and reindeer? Still takes forever to fucking reload. 
Why doesn't that work? So fucking creepy. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Leave me alone. Why are there so many? Stop it. Where's her zero shot? I can't even like zoom in on her, so obviously I have to kill all these things. Could you please reload? The reload takes so fucking long. Oh, it's because she's guarding her face. I get it. I just used my zero by accident. Finally making some progress. Cool, cool. Where'd you go? Stop moving around. <laughs> That's super cool. That was a cool little mechanic there. How much health do you have, girl? Oh, she's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. Hell yeah. Span, join the fight. Welcome in, Span underscore. If you are not a bot, do you mind um, putting a message into chat? Just so I know. Because we've been like... There have been so many bots today. So just to make sure. But yeah, welcome in. Thanks for joining the fight. Hey, what's the, you're a real human. Excellent. I love it. I found this effigy on the floor. I should put it back on the doll display. But yeah, welcome in. How are you doing? I'm excited for when this comes out in PS4 next month, just in time for Halloween. Yeah, I'll probably replay it, honestly. I kind of want to see the new outfits that, I go, that they're putting into the game and how it looks on PC. And also, like... Any mods we might get. <laughs> oh, why didn't they work? That's weird. There you go, I did it for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you play as a younger girl. Ah, uh, the intro for this game is so good. You play as a younger girl. She gets locked in the temple with a ghost with the orchids in her hair. Oh, yeah, you mean right at the start? The tutorial section? I like all the, like, um, the hair bondage ghosts. They're super cool. Uh, alright, so we did this bit. What is it? One for me now? Head underground. Oh, I get it. It wants me to go through this door here that we found last time. To the womb cabin. Let's go. I'm going to play this for Halloween. Yes, me too. Oh, that's awesome. I'd love to see lots of people play this. I'm guessing uh, once the release comes out, everyone will be playing the remake. So it's kind of cool to see what the old game was, I guess. Rawr, I'm a dinosaur. Rawr. I love being a ghost hunting bikini clad dinosaur. Take me, Blackwater. Roar. I must admit, it would be way easier to play this without having to deal with, like, the emulated Wii U controls. Because they're definitely not fun. <laughs> No, 
right, sacred water. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're playing on Simu, is the emulator's name. Uh, so the controls can be a bit jank in places, because obviously you're trying to emulate something fairly complex, like the movement of the gamepad, you know? Have you played this before, Spen? Door is locked. Black box. It just leads to weird, weird little moments where like you'll bring up the camera and you'll be pointing in the wrong direction, which can be very annoying. It's like, why am I pointing there? That's not where I want to point. I'm trying to catch a ghost. So let me catch the ghost. Rawr. Guess we go this way. Oh, hello. Type 90 film. Usually you don't get type 90 until end game in the Fatal Frame series. Let's get on our hands and knees. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hey, Dark Slayer, how you doing? Welcome in, it's nice to see you. See you like that, like where the fuck? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yep, can I? Now what? Hello? Oh, that was weird. Pretty good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm pretty good as well. I'm chilling. We're playing some Fatal Frame. Oh, she's back. Mama wants some more action. Wait, come back. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Whoops! Well, let's get some distance. I was not expecting a fight instantly. Oh my gosh! May I be able to see who I'm fighting? Is that possible? Much help. Let's change to a stronger film. I would love to, girl. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, she's dead. Come back. It's not dead. Where are you? See you later, girl. Okay. Eh? Yeah, she's good. She's gone. All right. Hey, Sybil. How you doing? Welcome in. I really want to watch this, but I don't want to see the game yet. Just wanted to say hi and lurk. Happy spooky season, everyone. We get in there, we get in there. An iris flower. I wanna make the stream super spooks. Super spooks for spooky season. Ah, uh, we came from here. Or did we? Hang on. You will be missed. I don't want to see the game yet. It's really good. Like, I, when I looked it up, I had some mixed reviews. But this game is... I'm really enjoying this. So I'm wondering if the mixed reviews are just, like, controller-based or something. Hey, 
Hey girl, you doing all right? I like your top, it's cute. I'm just kind of a look, it's a vibe. You ever just wanna chill in a box covered in tar? need a new place to shop for old clothes. I buy all my old clothes online, honestly. Like, I have two or three outliner um, stores that I, like, constantly use. And then you just go to, like, normal stores and grab black shit or whatever to fill in the gaps, you know? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Old clothes tend to be fairly fucking... Like, they don't last very long. It's very, very frustrating. Especially, like, the really expensive shit. The really expensive shit lasts the least amount of time. Fast fashion, I suppose. I fucking hate it. Like, to be goth, you need to be rich, basically. Unless you do op shop goth, which is basically what I do. So you go op shopping, you grab a whole lot of black clothes, and then you modify it and oh add like a staple piece or something. She is so cute. The heck? I am in love. Can we screenshot this something? <laughs> I'm melting. Oh, I love all of this. Uh, Hentai. Uh, Hey, can you not crash the party? We're having a moment here. In case you couldn't tell. Oh, it's actually battle? What the fuck? What are you doing? Get off the ground. You again. Whoa. Come on, I got that. Hi, Ruka. Hi, Ruka. I'll see myself out. All right, give me some distance. Or, you know, not, whatever. Rawr. Gotta wait for the reload. Yeah, by the time you reload, no longer can take the photo. Excellent. <laughs> you clipped it? Thank you for the clip. How do I... Oh my gosh, girl, chill. I want to get back to the moment. Get out of here, ghost. I want to comfort my lovely little guff baby. Ah, cool. Get out of here. Out of here. Oh, her clothes isn't. Her clothes aren't black anymore. I am disappointed. Sent here to come and look for you. Can you walk? Come on, let's get out of here. All right. Hi, girl. Oh, you're getting very close. Can I take a photo for, you know, the memory? Oh, she actually walks towards you. No. <laughs> you were very cute. Okay, let's go. Is this when they kiss? <laughs> Roar! I am a T-Rex. Roar! Roar! 
is very cute. All right, let's see if we can go through this door now. No. Hentai. Hentai. I kind of do want some Fatal Frame 5 hentai now. All right, let's go. All right, girl, this is the thing. You need to get on your hands and knees uh, to get into the hole. Over here. I'll show you how. Just like this. You gotta wiggle your booty, though. Hey, she did it. Damn, girl. All right. Pay attention. Pay attention. Asked you to come find me. Was it for you? Yes, it was. I want to see her. I need to apologize. It's all right. We'll get time to apologize later. The door is locked. The lock is broken. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, I have to try and remember how to get out of this place. Oh yeah, wait, 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 we're doing it. <laughs> We're making progress. Uh, hello? <laughs> Are you okay? Is there a Fatal Frame spin-off dating sim? Is the real question. To the Shrine of Dolls. And they were roommates. Kind of having a hard time though. Gotta chill out for a bit. <laughs> I'm here for you, girl. You we'd be together too. It's this way, right? Actually, no. Hang on. Make sure we don't waste like really expensive film. So sorry. The worst defender for me is goth boots. I um you get goth boots and apparently they only expect you to wear goth boots like once a month or something, because if you wear them regularly, they just fucking fall apart within a few months. It's really, really frustrating. Girl, where'd you go? Girl. Didn't leave me like that. We are now together. Come on. Could you speed up a little bit? I mean, you're cute and all, but... Whoa, hang on. What did I just say? I said we're together. I must kill them all. Every shrine maiden. I can't stand their eyes. I must gouge them out. They have seen too much. Stick to your day job. It's a terrible rap. Where'd she go? That way.
I mean, I just rescued you from a box under a cave. Do you think maybe you could just chill out for a sec and stay with me? Why, girl? Not this shit again. <laughs> You gonna attack me? Uh oh. Really dislike when they go under the camera like that. Get off her! Get off her! Are she dead? We did it! We did it, chat! We saved her! Whoa, she literally just teleported. Excellent. Heck yeah. Oh. That was sick. I loved all of that. <laughs> this game's rad. Ha! Got him! Got him! What were you doing there? Being in a thirst trap. was drawing me in i was becoming a part of it as if i were melting well what's important is that you're back miracle you're not hurt her outfit is so cute oh my gosh all their outfits are so cute where is for you he Game makes you want to spend money. <laughs> I hear a song. That song. It's just a really cute model, like. Oh. Haruka, please, just try and get some rest for now, okay? Because she doesn't look traditionally like anime. She looks like a real person, you know. Yeah, everyone is so pretty in this game. They look real, but then they also have like. Crazy anime proportions, right? <laughs> but the faces look real. Haruka, I better give her some time to recover. I mean, I can think of, thing, uh, think of a few things we could do to help. Knock, knock. She's humming to herself. She's so cute. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um. He must be having a terrible nightmare. Why? He's completely silent. He's chilling. What you talking about, game? Oh, let's touch him. What the heck? So the chapter hasn't actually ended yet, right? Like, we haven't seen the end screen? Did I, did Have I you seen her? the tall ghost don't, yet? Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'd love to wake up to that. Huh? Ren, it's time. Which tall ghost? I'm not sure, maybe. 
You mean the dancing, like, Black Maiden ghost? Because if not, then I'm not sure. Maybe not. We'll leave now. You should get some rest. I know. Good night. She's such a pretty bra. Such a pretty bra. Oh, obligatory shower scene slash bath theme. Game's obsessed with water. Gotta stick her in water and make her naked. It's a beautiful shot there. All right. Hair bondage ghost has arrived. Oh, we're in the box. We're in a box. Damn. You cute too. There's an eight or ten foot tall ghost woman. No, I haven't seen her. That sounds hot. <laughs> that was a spicy bath. This whole game is spicy. It's a fun game to play. A dream. It was just like the memory I saw when I touched Haruka in the cave. I need to know more. Maybe if I ask her... Oh, we get to go talk to her. I guess. <laughs> Only reason I want to tub in my house? Uh, for spicy baths? That sounds fun. Uh, okay. Where does she live? Ahsoka's room? Secondary storeroom. Yuri, Yuri. It is Yuri, yeah. Um, can I go downstairs? I guess she doesn't have a room, so... Let's just... I remember where we had her. Down here, I think. No one in here. What's that stupid fucking radio? It's so loud. Uh, was it not upstairs? I thought I thought we were upstairs when we uh couldn't talk to her. Yeah, that's it, right? Hang on. Oh my gosh, go, go. Oh yeah, it was here. It's a huge ass house. Where'd you go? Boo. Boo. Uh, when I want to keep watching, but I need to sleep. See you next time. Oh, don't worry about it. Next time, um, you won't miss much because we'll be ending soon. But uh, yeah, I, I play Fatal Frame games on Sundays. So next Sunday, I will be playing and continuing this game. Thank you for keeping me company. And uh, yeah, thank you for, for joining in. Always a pleasure. Have good sleeps. I think after watching this game, you'll have very good dreams. I suppose I could be taken sarcastic, but I, I mean it literally. <laughs> Haruka? Oh, her shoes. Look at her shoes. Huh. 
<laughs> it's all good. I agree, baby. It's all good. Maybe they stopped making Fatal Frame games to like focus on H games. Maybe I have to look up the director. Because these games get more and more thirsty every time. Yeah, it's super cute. God damn it, she left again. I just rescued you twice. Yuri finds a missing Haruka Mamosi in a reliquary in a cave beneath the shrine of dolls. She takes the girl back to the shop. Yeah, she does. Haruka is in no state to talk and can't explain what happened to her. That night, Haruka is visited by Fuyuhi's ghost, which takes her back to the mountain. God damn it. Back to the mountain. Hey, we got a bee. Nice. I like it. I like it. So, we are... Are only 23% through, it says. And we've been playing for almost six hours. That's pretty pretty wild, honestly. It means we have a lot more a lot more game to see, a lot more fun to have, a lot more cute costumes to squee about. <laughs> so yeah, we will leave it there. Uh can I confirm? Uh, hopefully it's saved. I I imagine it's saved. We're probably all good. Oh, we're in the tentacle pit. Oh no. But yeah, thank you so much all y'all for uh, joining me today and playing Fatal Frame 5. Like I said, I'm super excited to be playing it. And so far, it's been really, really, really good. Like some of the battling has been a little bit jank, but part a part of that for sure is the emulation and controls. So, you know, it is what it is. But this game is awesome. I really, really, really love it. I'm looking forward to next Sunday when we get to play more. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we will, as always, go on a raid. Uh, if we have the numbers, let's have a look at what we're sitting at. 21. Hello, all of y'all. Hope you're all having an excellent day, night, evening, wherever you are. Don't forget to follow if you want more retro horror content. I'm streaming like three or four times a week. So constant content coming at y'all. Hey. Thank you for the follow. Do it's Bolden. Thank you for joining the fight. Much, much, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, so I will be uh, probably streaming tomorrow morning with Hex. Maybe continuing Parasite Eve. And uh, we'll put some more of the stream information on the Discord. You can always join the Discord. It is here. Bam. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all again. Uh, thank you for the... Uh, resub death tropes much 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 appreciated thank you for the follow it's bolden and span and also a malawi boat uh or was that a bot i don't remember <laughs> some of them may be bots we got a lot of bot follows this uh this stream but yeah thank you thank you thank you everyone for uh, having fun with me today and we will be jumping in a raid hopefully finding something similar in content uh, okay, let's have a look at what we got. What, we, what do we have here? A lot of dead by daylight. Who would have thought it? Huh. There actually isn't much in the way of horror today. Which is a little bit, uh, disappointing. What I would do is probably go jump into Jordan's, uh... Jordan's chat, so I think we will be raiding Jordan. Uh, Jordan's a really cool uh, Australian streamer. Very quirky, very cool content. If you like him, give him a follow. Uh, we will go raid Jordan. So yeah, I ask that you do stick around for the raid and spam a few emotes when we get in, if, if you're cool with that. And uh, it's always nice to get a raid, so. Raid, 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 raid. <laughs> Yeah, Jordan is super cool vibes. Super, super chill and awesome. Nice to just chill out to. So yeah, we'll be raiding Jordan. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope everyone has an amazing day, night, evening, like I said before. And uh, I hope to see you soon. So thank you again. And for now, 
I will say goodbye. See you later.